All right, back once again for Breath of the Wild Part Three. Uh, it's been a, yeah, it's been a while. We uh, we got interrupted with the Halloween shit, but now yeah. it's Thanksgiving, and there's like, no real good Thanksgiving. Games. No, what do you mean? It's Christmas. Halloween's over. It's Christmas. I was I was eating breakfast. I went out for a walk today to the farmers market, and I decided to stop and get some breakfast as well. And uh, it was a it was a uh, it's like a pub slash like like dining place, and we were watching the game, and there was a fucking Christmas ad. And yeah. I'm like, it begins. I think where was it? I think I went to like, uh, I went to one of the local plazas, and the Starbucks was playing Christmas music like two weeks ago. Two? Wait, Halloween wasn't even over, and they were playing Christmas music? Yes. No. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh it's it's ten years, and the whole year is gonna be Christmas, Jack. There's there's a war on Christmas. Fuck you! They're, they're playing Christmas music. You get two months of Christmas. Like, holiday shit. Like, chill the fuck out. Hello, Cure Ribbon. Oh. Cure Ribbon? Is that a... Are magical girls watching us? Cool. One of them. Nice. So, uh... That reminds me, in Way of the House Husband, there's an in there's an in universe show called yeah. uh, Crime Catch Polycure. Or Police... Po like... Okay. Yeah, police Polycure or something. And it's his, and it's the, it's uh, the house, uh, like, Yakuza husband's, like, oh, have you been uh, upgrading your, uh, shit? I have. Oh, how many, how much? I'm too, I'm far away, I'll never get home. Well, he doesn't sound like an old man. Uh, I, mo mostly weapons is what I keep running out of, so I've been mostly upgrading the weapon stash. I think oh. I need five for the next upgrade. But, uh, I've got the whole map filled out and uh yeah. so i did i did that pretty shortly after our previous stream and i haven't really played since so yeah like the the, the the towers have been the main collectible of the game for me after that i kind of lost interest yeah you're so yeah you got you, yeah that is the same map that i have um did you get any new uh, equipment uh i got new an arm. armor no. yeah you got an arm you got some oh you got some uh some fancy tech. Fire and ice. Meteor, a uh, couple of... Oh, yeah. I, I beat some, like, robots or something. I, oh, Agent Battle Axe Plus Plus. Uh, I got oh, them oh, fancy oh. shields. Yeah, Guardian Shield Plus Plus. I, I met the person who does, like, the, the shield surfing. I don't remember if that happened on stream or not. No, it didn't, but that's a thing that can happen. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I, haven't, I haven't really done any of it, but... Uh... And you cooked as well. You cooked a lot of food. Uh, I, I filled out my food, and I have been, like, taking pictures of all the weapons and things that I have. So I filled out the best year a little bit. It's pretty big. D yeah, it is. There's a, there's a lot in the compendium. All right, so we got options. We can, uh, we can continue on with the quest uh, for one of the birds. You can try to find, like, uh, your old memories. Uh um, so last time we left Whatever off do. doing the the bird thing, where was that? It was. It, By the it, way, how's how's your cash flow? I just, I I've mentioned I. Uh, what did I, I sold a bunch of stuff that wasn't going to be useful? I sold a bunch of the the gemstones because I found a lot of them, and uh, I bought all of the armor that we've looked at up until now. Did you and get the ninja? Did you get the ninja swag? I did get the ninja swag. Yes. And uh, I upgraded handy. everything as much as I had the materials for. Okay. So and I then have upgraded course... cold gear. Nice. I have slightly upgraded ninja stuff, I think. Yeah. I, then... Oh, you mean the chic stuff or the the this yeah. stuff? That's it. No, the ninja stuff is the one left. That's, that stuff is just is just traveler stuff. Yeah. And uh, I wouldn't be a ninja wanna... today. Well, you, you, uh, the thing is, is that if you, yeah, that's your sneaking suit. Um, the thing is, is that, uh, when it comes to equipment, you can, you can upgrade it as much as you have materials, and you can, uh, you can only upgrade it up to have however many, uh, like, uh, fairy, like, fountains you've awakened. Yeah, and I've found, uh, two of them. Yeah. So you've been selling gym suits, so you haven't been bowling. So this is, no, I haven't had to resort to bowling yet. <laughs> resort to bowling? It's fun! I mean, I'll go it's back if I if I need the money and I'm out of stuff that I'm willing to sell. Yeah. Well, I find only fun. So, all right. So you get. So we're gonna continue on with the shrine quests. I I guess. Yeah. I I. Yeah. 
I guess we cool. have the we have it like on our map where to go for the memory stuff. I haven't looked into that. Well, we have we have it in the thing, but uh, yeah, the uh, it's like it unlocks backstory. Backstory. We're Story also of... uh, we're one stream away from finishing Pokemon, but I felt like that was gonna have like a lot of like story stuff that we'd have to pay attention to. So it's probably not, not going to be a very good podcasty stream anymore. Also, um, my thumb is still like giving me trouble. Yeah, that too. I had to. I had I work uh, on Friday. Uh, I had to write a bunch of stuff because I was out of a certain form. So I had to just write everything from scratch, and my thumb just has not stopped bothering me. I push, was I, I, push the child. Can't, can't can't play Persona Five. Can't. Like, I can't, like, really write all that much. I had to, I can only write with, like, my fingers on a phone. It's uh, embarrassing! It's totally... Oh, you can't... Even if you... Okay, look, even if you were able to push me, probably just fly up and, like, and, like, say, what the big idea? <laughs> Alright. Apparently, you can push, uh, the, the bard dude, Cass. You can push him off cliffs in some spots. Oh, yeah? Uh, I upgraded my stamina a little bit. Also got, like, another heart upgrade or two. Okay, uh, yeah, as far as, yeah, stamina is, a, the stamina and hearts are important. Uh, stamina is, impo is definitely important for traversal reasons, and hearts are important for, uh, for a reason you will get to later. Um, I, I would say don't put off hearts because, ye because there will be an item. There will item. be blood. There will be an item that will require it. Uh, where are you at right now? Seven? Yes. Okay, you need six more. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're not doing the ninja gear. Yeah, unfortunate. That's good thing you're a quick change artist. So you're from uh, your ninja gear link to uh, to Arctic Adventure link. They're all, these are all like action figure stuff. Like, like why? Who needs dolls when you got me? video game avatars? What? You need dolls? Oh, me. Should have taken a picture Prime of it meat. first. Oh, it was a moose. Oh, well. Moose? Are moose prime moose? meat or top or choice meat or? No. I have, did I've... you upgrade? Did you upgrade your uh, your magic abilities yet? Uh, no. No. So okay. I can do that by you. You mentioned that offhand. I can like revisit. Oh fuck! I can revisit Pura for that or something. Yeah. Go. Yeah. You have Pura, and that's why I say don't sell your uh, your ancient gear. <laughs> Because that stuff is like is like alone. useful for. Ow! Shit! If you didn't, if you weren't armored, you would have died. Got three hearts. Uh, I have met a regular and a blue Lionel. I didn't fuck with them. Uh, <laughs> uh yeah, those things, those guys are really tough to kill. Um, like. What is this yeehaw think? music? I I can't hear it. Hold on. Oh, well, it's over now. Okay. <laughs> Shit. I'll hear it back and I'll be like, oh, that track. That, oh, that one you traveled to, um, to get to, uh, the Rito Palace. You didn't finish it, because I noticed the top was still red. Oh, did I not? No, you didn't. That's how you can tell. If it's all blue, blue, you found it and you, and you completed it. If it's blue and red, you found it, you can warp to it, but you still need to complete it. Path of Hidden Winds. All right. Shawarvo. Sounds like a Star Wars name. Uh, would you say it's a dumb uh, Star Wars name, or a Star Wars name perfectly in line with being in Star Wars? Ah, uh, I mean, it fits, I guess. It's not like... Darth Stinky. <laughs> oh, Are hello. You serious? No, you need to die. I'm a... <laughs> yeah, get out of here. That, that was rad. <laughs> Just break a fuck... You've gotten okay. You, I, okay, so far it seems like you've gotten better at this game. I'm. Uh, I'm not gonna. All right, I I'm got not, a better item. I, had, I did not expect that a one hit kill. A better item. Okay. Also, if you break a weapon on something, that counts as like as like a crit. So. Grab, please. Grab ladder. No. Hmm. It's fine if you fall, you'll just lose a heart. And you got you, you stocked up on enough food to feed Goku for like five hours. <laughs> I don't 
remember. This I don't temple. remember doing this. Done. I don't remember doing this temple. So, what's your favorite outfit so far? And yes, naked counts if you if you want to include that. Uh, I, I, I don't like necessarily love any of them for appearance. I guess. I, okay. I, it's nice having the cold resistance. Yeah, I, that's what I was gonna say. Appearance. Which one looks the coolest? I mean, the chic one's just a cosplay. It's it's sneaking snoot. It's a sneaking snoot. It's uh, my snoot. sneaking snoot. snoot. I, I I'm sorry. I don't know why. That was good. Mind. I like that. <laughs> I want to sneak and snoot. Sneak and snoot. That's like a that's like a Doctor Seuss. Hello, elf. Dude, Doctor Seuss presents. Uh, what were you we gonna say? Sorry. That was a thing. And when the snoots was that a race? I don't know. Oh, there you see the chest back there. Yeah. All right. Uh, the sneaking snoot. <laughs> Doctor uh, Seuss presents. How are you supposed to get over there? Hold on. <laughs> Doctor Snoot. Uh, Doctor Snooze. Doctor Seuss presents Metal Gear Solid. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> Doctor Seuss. Yeah, Metal my Gear sneaking Solid. snoot. I will use my sneaking snoot to sneak into the. Starring Augusta St. Cloud. Yeah. <laughs> I was like looking for that that clip, and I'm and that was I. It's a rare moment where I can't find something obscure. And you just have it, like, locked down on speed dial. Well, it's because... I, I had to look for it because the dude has a whole channel of that shit, so I had to find the specific one with the cloud get bigger. Okay, you probably get there from here now. Or from even up there. Yeah, if I do that, it'll exit the shrine, so... Yeah, so... Well, you know you can get up here again. I'm just saying that you could probably use that wind tunnel over there to uh, actually get to... Uh, Get to uh, the uh, the chest over there. Should probably contain a useful item. If it contains a weapon, you you have like a uh, room for one. Motherfucker, you better make it. I have a favorite outfit, um, but uh, but we, you haven't found it yet. Okay. I don't think. Another knight bow. I got too many of those. Uh, it's okay. That's not even objectively the best bow. No, it's not. I have, like, specialty bows, like the forest one that shoots three arrows. Yes, yeah, so for the cost of one. The so, for every one arrow you shoot, three come out. That's... Sniper bow, but it's kind of weak. Yeah. This Falcon. one's got a high rate of fire, but I don't, like, that wastes arrows. Higher rate of fire... Oh, did you... Oh, you didn't get the, uh, the bomb arrows. I never have enough arrows that I'm willing to use them for combat. Like, I run out immediately. Yeah, bomb arrows are useful though, because uh, I, I, but then again they're so expensive. I don't. Well, then again, money's not really an issue because you can just sell everything. And yes. I think that every blood moon, like, uh, like shit regenerates. So. Yeah, if I like stock up on items and then like get a thousand rupees to buy every arrow from every beetle, then maybe okay, I no. can use it as a regular oh, yeah, combat you get a option. I, I I literally forgot you got the chest. Um, yeah, uh, how have you been with combat? Have you, do you think you've gotten better at it, or are you still struggling? Uh, I, I still don't really like it. Fair enough. I, I didn't say whether or not you, I didn't ask whether or not you liked it. Hey, Resurrection Bob, uh, I, I never asked whether, I didn't ask whether you liked it, I'm just, I'm asking you whether, you, whether you've gotten better at it. I, I guess. I mean, I got, I beat the robots. Fair enough. Most enemies are still just, like, smack them until they die. Yeah, that was like that in uh, in regular Zelda for most, like, standard enemies. I mean, some of them had, like, gimmicks. There's not really any gimmicky enemies here that requires, like, uh, gimmicks to beat. I think I would take smack it until they die with gimmicks over just smack it until they die between the two. Yeah. Uh, Dark Souls had, had had enemies that had like smack it until they die with gimmicks. Um, some some bot like fucking sunlight maggot from uh, from the original people didn't like because you couldn't just like whack it with a sword until until it went into its second phase and then whack it some more until it died. Is this where the person flew off to? The flight range. I met. I also met some Zoras looking for humans. I, I didn't like investigate, so we'll do that later. Yep. Yeah. Uh, nice toasty campfire. 
Oh, free Sweet. arrows. Ah, cool. I think you can't actually... A swallow bow. What does that do? Favored among Rito warriors. Specially engineered for aerial combat. Okay, it's a shittier version of the bow I just threw away. Yeah, well, okay. Well, we're not eating that. Last chance to cook. <laughs> I got food. Yeah, you, you got a lot of food. You've prepared for this day. Yeah. Yeah! Is that the dude who flew away last time? It's I Twilight Princess you. all over again. I don't remember I'm who the fuck anyone is or what we're doing. You should probably go. That sounds familiar. His that voice? voice? Yeah. Push. Push off. Hmm. I can help you! <laughs> Vamido. Some Let random me. Hylian wants to help me bring down the divine beast? I'm not buying it. Okay, well then do it yourself. Oh, wait. It's never really it's never really highlighted or called out, but there's always like a hint of racism in every Zelda game. Like it's always a part of the these races are always very divided. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say careful about that. We'll get our video taken down again. <laughs> for no fucking reason and still getting still get emails about it from YouTube <laughs> to this day. Uh yeah, they're like huh. that happens you know the the stand the original fantasy like uh like racial divide was elves and dwarves and orcs and everyone just kind of stayed to themselves dwarves yeah. had their own like societies no real like uh cultural melting pots in, in like original fantasy this game is they the closest have... it's gotten with people yeah. like living together even so well wind waker the rito or they they were the mailmen and they just kind of showed up and they're like hey yeah we're here yeah <laughs> yeah like, yeah, there were no Hylians. They were round-eared <clears throat> demons in that in the, in that universe. Were there not Hylians? I don't remember. Some well, there were, but some of them had like round ears. That was the plot point. Where like, hey, you had pointed ears, and she was a. I guess yeah. They they were going around getting like girls with blonde hair and pointed ears. Yep. Oh hey, I guess he agreed. Hey, I don't buy it. Who are you? I'm like oh. We well, use the updraft in this ravine to hone our aerial archery skills. Oh, you have to do aerials, like, air, bow shit in the air? Alright. Hmm. I feel like this probably wouldn't go so well in real life. Like, you'd open up a cloth and it would, like, snap your back in two. Dude, you're gonna become, uh, Lars Anderson. The guy who, who, uh, unlearned traditional <laughs> archery to, like, become... Like, uh, like, he returned to a time where archery was simpler and better. Which meant that he didn't use a quiver, he just held all the arrows in one hand and just fired them off like, like he was a fucking machine gun. Okay. He's like, <laughs> I still love that video. Have you seen that video? No, I haven't. It was, a, it was a video of this, of this, like, voiceover talking about how, like, ancient, uh, how modern archery is like is like all myth and like bullshit and meanwhile it was just this guy just doing like uh like trick archery is there hold on is there cool music playing yeah kind of did i do it i don't think i did it i think you hit it oh no you didn't hit it you gotta you gotta factor in the the uh drop the drop shot not that kind of drop, the other drop! <laughs> Just, How do I yeah, have the, six of them? Yeah. You have to fact you have to factor in the fact that Oh, I know that. Little, I thought little. that I did, but it still I guess didn't hit anyway. That's it. That's it. Hey, you know it's a good thing that uh, that they give you unlimited stamina for this. Do they? Yeah, it's 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 instantly refilling. That's five. That's fair. That's hmm. that's fair enough. That looks like that. Okay, so that's gonna be. I wonder if they're gonna have to use that for uh, for a boss. I get. I he said that we were gonna use this against the the giant bird or whatever. But uh, is there gonna be an updraft? Because it seems like it'd be a lot harder without. 
You must have seen a, a battle or two. Hundreds of them. Have you beat any of the big uh, spider-like robots with the with the wave motion guns? I yet? have not beaten any of like the big outdoor guardians. No. Okay. Well, uh, aim for the eye with it, but with an arrow, and that'll help. Hmm. Inside the treasure chest is a bow I've modified. I'm good. No, well, I mean, let's see what it is. Oh, this one. I thought the other one. Yeah, this is the one that I just threw away. Well, it says it's a, it's modified for aerial combat, so superior rate of fire. Is he gonna want? Is he? Is he gonna like request that you take it? You oh, can't move on. It would be disrespectful you take... for you to not take this bow. Uh, get rid of the sniper bow. The sniper. Oh yeah. I guess. It's ten power. You know what? You use a sniper bow for the bomb arrows. It's the artillery bow. Alright. Hmm. Let's do this. You need to hit them with bomb arrows. These are a precious commodity, so don't expect me to do this again, but take these. Alright, how many is he gonna give you? 20. Okay. I want to prepare cold. a warm meal or bring some warm clothes. All right, I got the warm clothes. Huh. Let me a make warm sure meal. your stupid bow that I don't want to use is equipped. Do I need to equip the... All right. I get... I, is this it? We're just going to go right up there and kick his ass? Yeah. It's not... There's... It's, I mean, I guess I knew there wasn't going to be a dungeon or something. I just, I thought there'd be some kind of build-up or something. Why are you why doing are you this? Just I, because. Just because. Just. You must be off your rocker. But I'm not <laughs> complaining. Are you mad? No, I'm Link. Get on. Oh, we're going to fucking ride him like, like, uh, like Falcor. <laughs> Are we not even gonna, like, so you're gonna be shooting at him with your bomb arrows, like, while the cannons are shooting at you. Hey, Miyamoto's new movie like... looks great, doesn't it? Hmm. What does? The... Miyama uh, Miyazaki's. Oh, does he have a new movie? Oh, yeah. The I Boy and the Heron. <laughs> this is, uh, this is that third, uh, part of that, uh, Ico trilogy. Ico? You know, is Ico, the Shadow of the Colossus, and then they made a third game. Oh, Which did they? Name I forget. I, I forget the name of it. Alright, what's the plan? It's got a shield generator! I'll draw the cannon fire. While I'm doing that, use user bomb arrows to destroy the cannons. Okay, there's, there is an updraft. It's a good thing. This plan would be fucked if otherwise. Yeah. Man. Don't get close enough to touch it. And finally, don't forget your cold protection. It's cold up in the uh, up here. We can move whenever you're ready. Now let's go back. <laughs> oh no, I'm scared. It's on you. We're in hot. Okay. So you're up there. You're gonna have to drop, and then. Uh, you forgot to factor in the uh, the. Uh, Jack, I factored it. I just missed. Yeah. Uh, that was far too far to the right. No, I hit it. Aren't you supposed to hit it directly, head on? Okay, oh. never mind. No, there's a health bar. It just, it took two hits. Okay, I didn't see the health bar. Oh. I, I thought you were so throwing slow. the cannon fire, you stupid bird. Watch out. Watch out, he says. Okay. But I feel so slow compared to him. Okay. There you go. Oh wow, you overshot that. That was uh, that was rough. This this feels like some weird ass uh, like uh, Rogue Squadron mission. The music is a little Star Warsy. Hold on, I gotta hear it. Give me a moment. 
Yeah, a little. All right. Out of the way. Uh, out of the way, motherfucker! Do you do anything? Hey, look at that. We got a reticle in this game. Yeah, this uh, this link is the best link. I don't okay. even know where he is. He's just like... <laughs> targeting us. It, it's raining, he doesn't want to get his fucking feathers wet. Oh, there he is, I saw him a little bit. We did it. Cool. Alright, shield's sh down. Shield's down, commits an attack on the, uh, on the Death Star's core. Hoddle, bring the shield down. We gotta give him more time. Well done, Link. What's, what are you saying? Still take some adjusting story. hearing characters speak in this game. Yeah. It's it's weird to hear people talking like fully in a Zelda game. It's even weirder in a Mario game. Have you seen any Mario Wonder footage yet, Jack? I have not. I want to play that. Yeah, I'm trying to. I want to get that game. People are that enjoying game. it. Uh, the I Mario think what, characters. It's, a Mario, it's hard to fuck up a Mario game. Well. But how many yeah. new Super Mario Brothers? Okay. The Mario characters don't talk, but the, you saw the like the talking flowers are everywhere in the game, and it's super weird to hear them just pipe in with full English sentences all the time. I got hit pretty. He got hit. Could have fooled me. You look fine. You head down the middle. I got singed a little bit. It's all you. You know, it was really dangerous flying on the other side of this thing while you were taking the cannon fire. I think uh, I think I took a hit or two. I'm gonna have to leave. Remember Sorry. Remember when I said not to get too close to the barrier? Well, I did. Sorry. Already used to okay, characters so welcome, talking welcome in Mario. The, well, Sunshine doesn't the, count. Okay, so welcome to the first real dungeon. Oh, okay. I haven't played this dungeon, so I'm going in blind. The only one I've played was, uh... Anyway. The Zora um, one, the Goron one. Hey, one of those three. I'm trying to avoid spoilers, remember? Um... You have access. Travel gate. Well now, I've seen that face before. Who this? I had a feeling you would Who's... show up eventually. But making you wait a hundred years is a bit indulgent. Is, is this is this the Rito Husbando? Control of Meadow away from Ganon, correct? Of Mido, Midoriya. If so, then the first thing you want to do is find yourself a map. <laughs> do I get to pilot the bird? Stone has the information for the layout of this divine beast. Uh, I mean, you get to uh, you get to rest. You're supposed to rest control from it to get, like, its benefits. So, maybe. Oh, it's got the Ganon goo in here. Yeah. You didn't think it'd be that easy, did you? <laughs> it's fine. This game, this is a game that uh, that rewards sequence breaking. So no, what? What Was that not what I was supposed to do? I... <laughs> it was spooky, so I jumped just... over it. It's just funny how you sidled, like, around... Uh-oh, that's an enemy. Oh, you, I don't have a weapon. That's right, my arm broke. Yeah. Uh... You got, uh... Sword, sword, guardian spear, use battle axe, spears, I guess, but... Broadsword. Is that two... Broadsword's a two-handed weapon, right? Or is that just one? Get out of here. Break. Wait, did you drop anything useful? Yeah, you, you haven't here. been selling your ancient screws, have you? I don't think so. Good, because you, you need them to. Yeah, again. I know that's the stuff that Pura wants, right? Yeah, you need to upgrade. Um... 
You don't like spears? But I already have one, and it's weaker than oh, my okay. current weapon. All right, fair enough. I fit those weapons like break really fast. I I figure I only really use them for uh, for guardians, because you yeah. said they were extra effective against them, right? Yeah, against against uh, like Ganon tech. Cool, you got a map. The fuck is this Metal Gear shit? Divine Beast Control. Show someone like twenty years ago. The, the, that that screen, like, tell them this is a Zelda game. <laughs> They're like, maybe like, what the fuck? Wait, forty years ago? You mean any? No, that's uh, twenty. That was just after the N sixty four. Two thousand two. Yeah, it'd be like, this is how it'll evolve. They look at this and they'll be like, the fuck is this Metal Gear Solid? Well, I guess twenty years ago, people'd be like, oh yeah, that's exactly what Zelda needs: more realism. Yeah. Well, I guess, oh, no, they didn't want realism, per se. They they liked the idea of it being dark fantasy. Yeah, dark fantasy is cool. I'm, I, uh... Oh! Oh! Okay, yeah, you, you caught on. Good. So, yeah, a traditional uh, Zelda dungeon puzzle solving. Uh, I was not expecting this when I, when I, when I got to uh, my first dungeon. And, uh... To be honest, I'm not. I'm fine. I'm cool. Wait, what? Huh? What are you doing? I don't What'd know. You do? Like, it, it something moved me. I'm trying to move it this way, and it doesn't want to. I guess it's on a. Oh, it's on a track. Yeah. How'd you move? How'd you move that? Okay. That is, it's not magnetic. Can I move it up onto that track? I doubt it, but. No. no, it's stuck. Oh, wait. I have an idea. I think I know what happened that confused me. I think I was moving what I was standing on. Yeah. Just shove it to the side through. <laughs> That's gotta be hell, hell on his legs. I mean... Uh... Probably? Push Why, because Link. he's like... Why, because he's, like, bending and... Well, no, okay. he's, he's anchoring the weight of that entire object just on his legs. Oh, yeah. Well, this sure is a lot of stuff. Whoosh! Uh... So if you figured out how to... No. Nope, it won't break. It's too strong. Okay, so you I... gotta just move it down and then... Well, I gotta open it. that door before I, uh... Yeah. Which means... Maybe you're not supposed to be here yet. Not... Well... But then maybe. Again... Well, okay, so you're tri you, you triggered that uh, switch, which means something has changed. Uh-oh! the fuck? <laughs> I like how it just... What's up? How it just... Who are you? Is that a bubble? Uh, Cursed Moblin. Oh, okay. No, I want a better picture. Hold still. There's a good boy. Nice picture. They're like the... They're like the Termina. They're like the skeleton heads. Oh, yeah. They're just like laughing and being all like... <laughs> all right, uh, weapon, you that's what I want. We got some swords. Hit it till it dies. Yeah. We got him. Did they come in through the window? Uh, I forget. I think you want that open. I think you want that uh, window okay, on. Okay, so that opens that. Is there... Okay, yeah. So I need to open this window to open... No. To open that thing back there. D okay. I think they just respawn. Okay, so this switch right here opens, opens that. that. Yeah. Which means that there's probably another switch somewhere else that opens. There's a track going in here. Oh, it's that. Oh, you see it? Is 
Is that going to be hit by the by the wind? Yeah, it is. We will see. Do the thing. Yeah, it, it and so it is. Oh no, Total it's too falls. short. Man. Uh Oh, you can just stand on the ledge to your left and then just hit it there. I guess, yeah. Yeah. Because it's not a track. It's not like he's going to go careening off to the side. Uh, speaking of voice acting, I'm watching uh, I'm watching Joel play uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. Oh, yeah. Elder Scrolls. Oh, yeah. Oblivion. Okay. That's a game with... Uh... Like, it's clearly skilled voice actors. The problem is they only got three of them. <laughs> yeah, you, you noticed that too, huh? I guess that, okay, I, not skilled voice actors, skilled narrators. Yeah. Characters in that game have great voices, but they, they just sound like, Lo and verily, they went to Mordor. That, that's Every the regional, single voice. That's the regional accent. Okay. The regional accent sounds like that. <laughs> you are. Just imagine, like, like, you go to New York and everybody talks like that. I'm walking here. It's just a, it's just an entire like, uh, like, uh, like, just accent that just all sounds like Doctor Orpheus. It was funny. His, his... It just didn't seem very self-aware. That whole game is funny yeah. and without being self-aware. Like, there's this uh, one YouTuber called Bacon, uh, with an underscore at the very end, uh, and he and his entire stick for the longest time was basically just, just like, playing Oblivion and just recording like like weird stuff that happens in the game that is just funny because it just fits in, in that that funny way oh yeah you've shown me those videos yeah yeah and uh and it, and it works for that game and then people and then starfall was like about to come out and people were like not really enthused are you supposed to use the, the stasis to like and then hit it to move it I don't know. I feel like I wasn't supposed to do what I did the first time, because it's not working anymore. Uh, what? What did that switch do, by the way? Did it open the, to the other room, or? Oh, no, you it's did. It's just, it's one of the four terminals that we need. Okay. Uh. I guess stasis works. Yeah, you can stasis it and then hit it. Yeah. That's how you move it. For now, are you going to stay on, or is it going to pull you off? Cool. Too far. I mean, yeah. I don't want to risk but, it. Oh, there's but a at chest least... down there. Oh, yeah, hey. Can I get that oh, it's up guard... easily? Uh, easily, no. Possibly, yes. Oh, a Maybe you need to go... Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yes you can. Wait, where'd it go? You, it was up, it was up one. You, you it was halfway oh. between oh, where you are now two and... two floors. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're down here, might as well explore. What the fuck? Ookie. Icky, icky. Wait, hold on, go back. I think there was an eye in the center that you could poke out. In the center of... The mass? That one, yeah. Yeah, there is! Anything to avoid using those arrows. Are arrows like especially effective on eyes? Is that still I, a thing? I mean, you can reach them with it. With it, you can probably hit them with the with with your with your bow. I got a spear. <sighs> no. Okay, it doesn't like the spear. I guess. Yep. I equals arrow. Ancient shaft. Okay, yeah, that's that's uh, crafting material. That's useful. Oh, wait. Uh, that's just blocked for now. What's over here? No, please. Notice please. me, senpai. Play with us. It's just like a whole exterior section. I don't feel safe. Oh, because you're flying like, like high on a, on an ancient possessed battleship. That's fine. We got gliders. And, and, and the the fucking shield helicarrier. Oh, hey. 
that guy out. No, oh, it just spears worked, just not on that previous one. Because it was guarded, it had it, the holes were. Hey, let's play. No, oh, they gave up. They went home. And they had to go home. This is a uh, pretty expansive. There's a yeah. lot of this dungeon that I can access at once. Definitely less linear than previous Zelda dungeons. Yeah. Uh, do you think? You think if? Do you do you prefer? Do you think that you you prefer this kind of layout if Zelda did, did this more often? Uh I think this goes too far in the open direction. I I think the N64 dungeons had usually a pretty good middle ground. Uh, Twilight yeah. Princess dungeons were very linear. Yeah, they were like it was just less like a. Like an ex like a dungeon that stuff. Well, okay, I will give I will give one caveat and that a caveat and that uh, and that the exception was the fucking like Yeti's mansion. Yeah, that was a great dungeon. That was the best dungeon of the of that entire game. Skyward, um, I do remember Skyward Sword had really interesting dungeon mechanics. I don't remember how linear they were. And there's just nothing up here yet. They're just cool wind drafts, I guess, but I don't see anything I can do with them yet. I think there's something up here. Maybe over... Hmm. It's a little uh, Ghibli-like music. Wait, let me a little Miyazaki-like. Oh, you that's it was up there the entire time. Oh, okay, so this is where I come after I activate the four things. Okay, I... I now I understand what that what that top part is for. That was the entrance. You just fucking sidled your way across it. That was hilarious. That was awkward, and yet it made so much sense. I don't know why that's so funny to you. <laughs> it's because it's because it, it, any more bomb arrows. That's useful. Uh, cause, I, I don't know, it's just like the idea of like, hey, this is, it, the path is blocked, you just, you just like, uh, casually go aside beside it, and the, the goo would be like, well, shit. Gonna guess I can't climb this. Nope, smooth stone. Smooth as stone. Alright, so how many, you got two, right? Uh, two, three, just three. one so far. Oh. Okay. We're are you sure that? Are what? you sure that switch didn't? Are you sure that switch you hit didn't open like more in that back room? I Never, didn't look like it did. You know we still what? have Never places mind. to think... go, so yeah. if if we run out and we we have to like backtrack, we will. It's a small love tap. Is that gonna work? No, stop. Cease. We were talking about uh, Mario earlier. One thing yeah. people are complaining a little bit out about in uh, Wonder is that you saw the like trailer footage that the Yoshi's uh -huh. are playable. Yep. But uh, the easy mode. Yeah. So they're they're playable as Yoshi's. They have like the flutter jump and tongue mechanics, but they're locked to like being immortal. And people That's... kind of want to play as Yoshi, but, but still have that... some difficulty. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, that's, uh, that sounds like a Nintendo thing. Be a nice thing that they could patch in. They probably won't, but... Are you, are, are you, maybe that means that Yoshis are canonically, like, like, really, really tough. Yeah. I mean, it did survive, like, being dumped in a pit over and over again. Yeah, the Yoshi jump. Uh... I had a thought. Cause, uh, cause... Because the because in the, in Yoshi's Island the threat wasn't that the Yoshis were gonna die necessarily is the threat that uh, that the Koopas were gonna take Mario away. Yeah, like the only thing that killed Yoshi was lava and spikes. And avoid the Uki. Well, then again, in in uh oh, that was red. All right, this feels like you did it wrong, but whatever. <laughs> There are three terminals. Wait, there's five? I thought there was four. There are five. I see them on the map. 
Uh, how how would one get out? Maybe you gotta hit the. Okay, never mind. You, you just. Sorry, what? Oh, I, I, I thought there was like an eye you could shoot. <laughs> now I had a thought on the Yoshi thing though. Uh, I guess kind of tied to that is that uh, a complaint that I've always had about Mario Sunshine is that the uh, the floating with flood and everything makes the platforming too forgiving, in my opinion. I'd kind of oh, like yeah. to see them, like, uh, do that for, like, a 3D Yoshi game. Make that the, like, really accessible, easy, you know, child-friendly hey, 3D platforming series. Go and Mario can be the, the hardcore world. parkour stuff. Yeah, the I I, I want to say that my favorite parts of uh, Sunshine were those uh, really challenging, like uh, like just platforming stuff. It's why I really enjoyed Galaxy and Galaxy Two a whole lot because it was just that except except a lot of it. Well, and Odyssey nailed it. Odyssey was like fast paced parkour, jumping around everywhere. Yep, Odyssey could stand to be a little bit harder. It had a lot of easy moons, but. Yeah, all the all easy moons, you can pay for it, and then and then there you go. Uh, what are you thinking with this hole? Uh, maybe just go up to it. Because it's a funnel, you just... You don't need to throw it in, you just drop it in. You just, like, go up to it, and then just drop instead of, like... Uh, get closer. Okay, now, it's, now you went behind it. Okay. Back a little bit, and then... Okay, and rolling, rolling. Oh, come on. Okay, do you actually need to throw it in? It's so slow. Is it going to stop? <laughs> it's like cheering I, I, at the dog race. I, I was watching something. I think it was either... I think it was one of those weird things where I caught, like, a scene of a movie out of context. And uh, it was back when I was a kid. And I think it was Hot Shots Part 2 or something. And this guy was like shooting and like was just just like tearing the shreds out of this like truck with like his machine with like his light machine gun. And then this car was like going towards it at like really fast. Hey, he did it. Um I'm sure that'll be useful when we get to that room in about an hour. Uh and it was going it was going as slower, slower, and it tapped the bumper, and then both things exploded. <laughs> just Sounds like a movie scene. Yeah. Uh, this is okay, a slow so that's, tap. It's like a ding. That's clear something that needs to be hit by one of the big pounders. Yeah, but in another room. Yeah, it'd be this, probably. Oh, there's the eye up there. I didn't even see that. Yeah, as I was saying, you should get the eye and then you take that thing out, but you didn't Where need was... to, because you're the master of infiltration. S Naked Link. S Slink. That's sorry. That's his name. Slink. Do you think you'll get the uh, the Metal Gear Three remake? I might. In that? Uh, I'm, I might. I haven't gotten. It's Metal Gear Original, right? It wasn't Solid. It's no Metal Gear Solid Three is being remade. It's summoning the fucking. That explains it. Was there something like that in the other room too? Oh, I didn't see it. I thought they were coming in through the window. No, they're not. They're they're being summoned by a. By an ancient evil creature, so, Wait, so that's why the... you gotta take out the eyes when you. What's have the point a of the window then? That you flew into into the fucking. Oh, okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hmm. Is there any way I can get to that? Doesn't look to be obvious. An obvious one, anyway. Uh. Not obvious, no. I'd say try it again if you, because I will say that uh, you can't re-enter uh, this kind of stuff when you leave. Hey, I poke out all the eyes. Sonic Superstars not as popular as Super Mario Wonder. Sonic Super is that the one that was released on Apple? No, it's the one that was released a week before Mario Wonder that also has four-player local co-op. Oh yeah. Uh, not as pop, not good. I don't not think I don't know if it's bad necessarily. It it sounds like opinions are kind of mixed. Okay, so so people, so Sonic fans like it, and other people don't. Is what I'm is what I'm hearing. 
I've heard at least one or two people compare it to Sonic 4, which is not great. Oh god, that that is not good. Uh, you can probably move that out of the way. Then I move, could, move those two but things to what out of the end? Way and then... Well, hmm. You need to get up there, right? Up uh, where? That hole. Is I've been right in. There? That's where I just came from. Oh, that really? Oh, yeah, because you climbed. So, yeah, what the fuck's the point of the... Hmm. Did we do everything over here? We did this... This is the terminal that we activated. There's one of the two, yeah. anyway. We ha we probably... don't have access to the two far wings. Is Those are both blocked by gates. There's gotta be a way to open those gates, then. Is there any, like, accessible path? Where are How's you coming get... from? There's gotta be, like, a fucking... Okay, wait. It's going from up. Yeah, there you go! That's where you are! Fucking Fuck eye. you! Oh, hello. Wow, that could have killed me. <laughs> could it have? Ice arrows. Yeah, fair enough. You, you can hoard an unlimited amount of arrows. It's just like, af after a certain point, shops just refuse to sell you more. Or they just don't restock if you're, like, above a certain point. Well, that, uh, that didn't help me. No. Well, I mean, it'll stop, it'll prevent those, like, skulls from menacing you. Uh... Hmm. Well, that drops the gate, and then that gate's still closed. Uh... It feels like you can get higher from there. Maybe check your map. You have a map of the area. That, Maybe was, there's the, like... that was the nose. We already went in there. I guess we haven't explored down here as much. No, you haven't. I'm just saying there's a map you can like kind of check out. Maybe there's like switches underneath those two rooms that open the gates from below. <laughs> I wonder if there's an eye that controls that. Yep, there is. Poke. <clears throat> oh, you weren't able to get there, so you turned it around. So you're in a new area now. That was just a shortcut. No, we've been out here. Oh, we have? Okay. So, if you go up there, that'll take you up to the top, and you can't get up to the top yet until you activate all the terminals. To initiate the, I guess, reset sequence of events. I'm gonna be stupid. Okay. It's fine, you'll probably... Whoa, hold on! Oh! Good, good, good job! I would have never Two guessed to do that. I don't know if I was supposed to do that. This game is just... This game doesn't give a fuck. You, you sequence break and it's like, oh, I don't care, whatever. Okay, well, now what? Look up. Okay, nothing up there, huh? Guess I'll just die. I'm going to abuse game mechanics to progress. Ah! Oh, there's, a, there's an even lower... Oh, no fear? Oh, no, they're fine. No no fear. Bye. Okay, and then you're gonna come back with, like, with, like, a heart down. Shit. Oh, you're- are you trapped here? Wait, no, you know what you could do? You could warp back. Jack, I have a fucking 3D map. I told you you had a 3D map! No, you didn't you, I know me. I had a map, you didn't say I 3D. Said, I said- you have a map. You have a map, and you're like, oh, well, yeah, a map. map. I'm not surprised I have a map. I'm surprised it's a fucking hologram, Jack. You mentioned it the first time you saw it. You're like, hey, wh what if you... What are those arrows for? Wait, what? And can I move it? Oh. <gasps> oh. You have access to the thing's wings. That's how I'm supposed to get here. <laughs> That's how you're able to get out. This is fresh water. If he got in, maybe we can get out. That's this probably, probably has something to do with the gates as well. Yeah, probably. Gates opened. 
I forgot this was a mechanic. Because this, 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 something similar happened in the in the one I played. I met this. Okay, now now do you think this is cooler? Uh, it the, is cooler. I probably yes. should have tried to like shoot this eye first, maybe. Oh, it's fine. You could it's... see. Look, you're good. Just get I, through I, all those holes. If I could destroy it with a bomb, I would just suicide right now. I don't think it will work though. Okay, you know what? Just 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 to have the wings go in the opposite direction and then shoot the eye as you're leaving. Yeah. <laughs> we mean we yeah. It's cool. Look, see. Yeah, it's great. You have you have it's like it's like being able to control like uh, the mechanics of a of like a fucking helicarrier through an iPad. Uh oh. Or smartphone. Oh, you missed. No, I got him. Oh no! It's not the wings aren't like flapping. The no, the whole tilting. ship is tilting. Yeah. I, I did not catch that. <laughs> I, the thing can't flap, I guess. It doesn't need to. Smack. Punk. Apparently right, Sonic let's... has a cannon now. Oh, that's more than Mario has. What's the cannon of Sonic? Uh, so one of the people who was in charge of writing the IDW series is now in charge of the official Sonic Games canon. And it's operating um, off of the IDW comic series. Okay, so if you want to play, like, the IDW games, you read the IDW series. Like, as of the latest game, Sonic Frontiers, I think it was? It was the last 3D okay. one? All right. This this dude is either basing it off of the IDW canon, and or picking and choosing which previous games are and aren't canon. Probably choosing the Sonic. Oh, this is a shortcut back to this room. Okay. Is there one on the other side? Uh. This is that room. So we've got. Is that? I guess the last terminal is on that wing. I thought yeah. we got them all over there. No, that one's okay. Go back to the map. I wanna, I wanna take a look at the at that part of the wing. Uh, can you zoom? No, you can only rotate. Uh, it's inside the wing, so you're probably gonna have to go to the other side or find some way to get in through. Wait, that's how you move the fucking things. You you move the wings. Oh, yeah, I guess you that is a, it. that is a method. Yeah. We're, we're slowly figuring this out as we're playing. I mean, that's how it goes. Yeah. It's not like you have a fairy being like, Hey, asshole! Hey, asshole! That, that would <laughs> I would love that for a fairy companion. I yeah. want the hey, asshole fairy. Uh, that'll probably ship. No, you want you want to go up to the top one. That'll shift it to where you need it to be. <laughs> That's so funny. I missed my chance. Uh, not necessarily. You just tilt it and then. The cage waited to move until it was like fully done. These guys are. Uh, these guys have physics. Well, you got it. Now you're climbing it sideways. <laughs> this is weird. Is that the only gunk that doesn't have an eye? I'm sure there's an eye, it's just you can't... Alright. Oh, another thing That's I... That's how you were supposed to get the fucking ball to blow up that rock was... Was through, was through like tilting mechanics. Oh yeah. Well, I wonder if that means we can now do something to make it. Oh, you you, you think? What's over here? That's a statue of some kind. Okay. Does it, does it look like there's an entrance into that from where you are? Oh, wait, I... Hmm. 
Well, I was thinking we could, like, that looks breakable over there, but we don't have a way to move the... to move the bomb that direction. Uh, wait, tr trigger the, uh, trigger the thing. Trigger the switch. Ah. Oh. There you go. Okay. Nope. I guess I should Are... probably do the tilting, too. Yeah, you gotta tilt it. Get in there, stupid! It, it was in there, you just... Just fucking, you can put it on the lip, and then you tilt the bird, and then, and then it'll just... Yeah, okay. <laughs> figuring this out. I was picturing, like, a guy's like, how are we supposed to get it to move? And the guy's like, I wonder what this button does, and then it's a, the, the thing suddenly moves to the... Oh. Yay! Hello, beautiful. Okay, now I think you have to use your magnetism to get it out. Or no! No, you tilt it! <laughs> this... Then you disable that, and then... Right, maybe both. Wait, hold on. Is that gonna break the glass? That's glass? I thought it was like a force field. I thought that was glass. Oh, I can do it through the... Yeah, through whatever that is. We're just, we're just giving up too easily on these puzzles. No, I'm not, I'm not giving up, I'm figuring it out. I know, I know, it just, we, we went into this room, and then we are like, well, I guess that's it, and then, because we didn't know about the fucking, like, tilting mechanic. Open up, is, let me in. Yay! Alright, then there's gotta, there's a terminal in here. And then... This is a pretty, uh, this is a pretty short, uh, dungeon. An interesting mechanic, though. Yeah. Would you prefer something to be interesting and short, or, uh, or long, and, uh, and, and have the... Well, I guess Zelda dungeons tend to do start having their gimmicks be, like, kind of... I completely prefer short dungeons to answer the question. Well, good for you. you this dungeon was, uh, less, what, less than half an hour? I didn't listen yeah, to a word fine. he just said. That's fine. Just go up to the top. Just go up and and uh, open the, the the lotus garden. Just because it's of the tilt of this ang of this angle, it looks like a disaster happened, and th this is our escape sequence. <laughs> just like edit in like like explosion gifs and uh, threatening and, like, music. A... No, you can't climb it. You got you got to level it out. The ship has crashed. We got to get out, Link. Sorry, Slink. Wait! Wait, hold on, the chest is in here. The chest you couldn't get before? Oh, see yeah. If can, see if you can uh, fuck with the uh, angles to, like... So, maybe tilt it uh, over to that side and then walk on the walls? <laughs> Let me just glide from here. Oh, yeah, you can glide from the top corner of that and then... Yeah, makes sense. Probably? Yeah, no, no, I think, I think you, I think... Right? This wall shimmy. Wall shimmy. Like a fucking Assassin's Creed character. Claymore, 38. Oh, cool! I, you know what? That's, I'll take that, it. That was worth it. Another thing I found out, uh, looking up Sonic stuff recently, apparently there was... The, the Sonic Frontiers did a cross-promotion with Hooters. What? Okay, that's that's just furry community pandering. Yeah. Oh. Like, <laughs> ah! It's fine. No fall damage. Uh, okay, what? Hooters. Uh, it was only like three locations in Japan, but all the same, it was an official... No, Japanese Hooters! Okay, that makes more sense. It was an official Sonic the Hedgehog and Hooters cross-promotion. Was, uh, was... Well, no, they didn't. They it... didn't put like Amy in a Hooters outfit or anything. I was gonna say, did they put Sonic in Hooters outfit? <laughs> Welcome to Femboy Hooters. What is it? It's uh, what were the the memes? The the waifu uh, goth chain? IHOP. It was goth IHOP, uh, Femboy Hooters, and I want to say uh, Tomboy Outback. That sounds right. And then. Garyu Sushi. Alright, here we go. Ow! 
Are you ready for this? I I interrupted myself because I forgot I was. I I just did I awaken the boss? Yeah, this is a boss fight. Winged Blight Ganon. Okay. Is that all the bosses are gonna be like knockoffs of Ganon? Ganon's own and it plays dirty. He defeated me one hundred years ago, but only because I was winging it. I can't Get it! Saying this, but you must avenge me, Link. That's that is like I got an arm cannon. Dead on. Watch yourself. Okay, his aim is dead on, watch yourself. Um, I'll just I'll stand food? back here then. You got any food that can increase defense? Uh, probably. Oh, food. That's materials. Instant refill, instantly refill. Stamina. Stamina. Health. Tasty veggie cream soup. Tough okay, mushroom that... skewer. There we go. So have you figured out, uh exactly how uh how like food works yeah it's, it's still okay no it's not so it's, it the ingredients that you put in tell you what you'll get out i know i'm saying that i'm saying like uh like what man what like uh determines how strong an effect is going to be versus how it's just how many you put in oh i just have to figure it out I guess. dead on huh? whoa uh, I guess I should probably use the bomb arrows. More damage. I mean, maybe. Sure. Now. Yeah, eat shit. Okay, that's Ow. decent enough. I don't know, I thought it'd be stunned or something. It wasn't. It, this is, this is a fucking Dark Souls boss. Just, oh, no, he's. I'm trying to keep eyes on it and I'm failing. Yeah, I know. I know this, and I forgive you. Oh shit! Uh oh, it could, it could do that. Oh, he went to the right. Yep. Get up a windstorm. I'm oh, gonna wager you... a guess that. Uh... Like, the Goron one will have earth magic, and will have fire magic or something. This is the wind boss. Wind boss. Well, Goron's probably fire. Yeah. Uh, Gerudo's earth, and Zora's water. Yeah, bomb arrows can just make quick work of this dude. That yeah, dumb idiot tries to shoot through the thing. Is this all there is? Oh, he went that way. He's up above. Ow! Check him out. You oh, you got hit. Wow, if, it's a good thing you're, you're you're you ate something some really <clears throat> tough food. Otherwise, are you... yeah, he certainly well, I, did. Uh... I got hit. I didn't know how much time I'd have. Okay. So four shots. Probably could get off like two shots. I don't think he's got- I don't know if he's got iframes, though. I am assuming he has iframes when he goes blue. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying that, like, besides... Crazy. This is- this is just that fucking, uh... Like, uh... Aghanim fight. Not, oh! New phase? Stay new phase, bro! <laughs> All right, what's he doing? Oh, he's got. Uh, I'm just gonna plug in. Watch, I was trying. Careful. It's good. You're fine. Just shoot him. Careful. Thanks. Just shoot him. What? What? Me saying just shoot him? You saying thanks? No, no. The 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 bird dude shouted. Careful. I got one more hit. Yeah. Nope. Like fucking... It's fucking options. I don't know what's going on, so I'm just gonna shoot him. They might oh, now fire... it's shooting again. Railgun? Le... Railgun? Well, no. I don't know what happened, but he, he missed. I'll get shoot him again. There you go. 
No, he's. <laughs> This, this is a sad attempt at a second phase. He's just not really doing a whole... What's, what are you doing? Uh, is he doing oh, the... Oh, he's... He's, he's, he's doing, like, like uh, the sex pistols from JoJo. Uh, sex... Who, who's... You mean six bullets? Oh, yeah, them. <laughs> Sorry. I got the yeah, character yeah. name to totally wrong. One through seven minus four. <laughs> Yeah, it is, it is totally him. It's just like, oh, what are those stupid options? And then, oh, nope, I gotta, I'm gonna. I gotta do it while the bullets are coming at me, or I miss my chance. It's like fighting a fucking stand. Or I'll just shoot it while he's charging, I guess. Yeah, because he's not directly shooting at you. Oh, you missed. Yeah. You did not. Uh... It was too far away. Yeah. Nice aim, idiot. Watch <laughs> out! His aim is dead on. <laughs> Because this guy could not dodge to save his life, probably. How many bomb arrows you got left? Oh, three. Enough. Four. Four. You might have to use a regular arrow, but uh, yeah. Oh, you got him. One more shot, and he's. Dead. I think this is easier than phase one. Once you know, you can just like hit him before he attacks. Use the a little bit higher. Sorry, okay. what no, are you no, saying? You... <laughs> I'm like, I thought it was gonna miss, but... You can use the columns to shield yourself! <laughs> oh, that's what he was saying? Yeah. I thought you were saying me, like, no. cause I was like, you're probably gonna be a bit low. Man, Ganon, what happened? What happened to you, Ganon? You need to pull yourself together. Just a giant evil slug creature. Although I guess he's not, because next game we find out he's human again. Well, Gerudo. But yeah, he's a person. Oh yeah, that's right, that's how you get more uh, heart pieces. I just re realized what uh, what Link looks like. He looks like uh, he's like flying in like a in like a World War. II. Okay, never mind. I was like, it kind of looks like a bomber jacket from uh, like a fighter jacket from World War One slash two. How do you think he uses heart containers? You just like break them open just, and drink the heart juice. You just uh, you just touch them and they get absorbed into you, and then you're slightly tougher. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got what I need. Yeah. I don't think there's... It's not like there's, like, permanent missables. I don't think. Hey, oh. you didn't even need to use a claymore. That was way shorter than I was expecting. Yeah. Uh, pleasant surprise. Well, yeah, these dungeons aren't too long. It's not, like, two or three hour long dungeons. Hey, you're the... Well done. I suppose I should thank you now that my spirit is free. This returns Meadow back to its rightful owner. Go oh, shit. <laughs> Don't preen yourself just for doing your job. I do suppose you've proven your value as a warrior. A warrior worthy of my unique ability. The sacred skill that I have dubbed Ravali's Gale! Oh, that's right. We get magic spells from these guys. I don't know what they do, but I've heard people talk about them. It's now time to move on and start making preparations for Meadow Strike on Ganon. But only if you think you'll still need my help while you're fighting inside Hyrule Castle. Feel free to thank me now. <laughs> what an arrogant fuck. I don't like this guy. This guy's a jerk. Yeah, he's, I think he's the least uh, popular of the four. Your job is far from finished, you know. Some Kiki's delivery service ass music. 
I can absolutely see the Miyazaki in this game. I had already, it was already pretty strong in Skyward Sword as well. Yeah. I miss the old uh, drum and bass techno of uh, of the 64 games, though. Horse Temple. Just doesn't hit the same with Is real it... instruments. I, okay, if you call the Forest Temple drum and bass, I guess. I mean, that and then Swamp Temple, Swamp Palace. Temple? Palace? Okay. The arrested control of the aerial weapons platform. I wonder if this means you'll be able to call down, like, airstrikes on, like, uh... I like your enemies. Man, I wish. That'd be cool. Just the ability to call down. <laughs> like, just like, at, like asking for gunship support. I would love that. We're facing the final boss of all the other guardians, and we just get this bird to drop a nuke on him. Meadow sights are now set. You'll have a precise speed on Ganon from this vantage point. All right. Uh, I'd say. Um, now we wait for that perfect moment. Hmm. It's hard to know where to go next Meadow, because this is like a pretty open game. Patient for the last so. 100 years. I doubt you'll suffer a feather over a few more moments. Ancient Magitech weapons years, platform. I simply must admit the truth. Even without the power of flight, Link made his way to this divine beast and accomplished something that even I could not. Guess I was wrong about how lucky he would be. I hope that luck holds out, Link, for everyone's sake. Is this uh, is this part of Age of Calamity? Do we get to see them all get punked out by these bosses? <laughs> I got, maybe if you find like the relevant like memories. I gotta wonder what that game is like because it's there's got to be like a final boss and a heroic ending, even though we know that it ends in like everyone dying. Alternate ending, maybe. Creates an upward draft that carries you into the sky. All right, oh. I like that. Charging oh, okay. jump with X. Okay. <laughs> That actually, uh... And there's not, like, uh... There's not, like, a magic meter or anything. There, you do have, like, a three, and then it's got a cooldown. But yeah, oh, I I wish that uh, I knew about this, because this seems like pretty, like, a pretty, like, useful power. I, I'm kicking myself I didn't go here first. Sup? Push the child. Oh, shit. Hello. What Mister, please! Stop! You fucking psychopath! He's fighting you back! Ah. Huh? I call that little ditty Return of the Bird Wrangling Hero. Prelude in E sharp minor. <laughs> That's cool. Uh. Well. Have they made a video game yet where, where NPCs acknowledge you doing shit like this to them? Uh, that it feels required. like they haven't. I remember one time I was uh, there was a Jet Force Gemini like a uh, game and like uh, and like this was back when they had like games in grocery stores. Yeah. Uh, and get Jet Force Gemini was in there, and uh, and like I just like this guy seems like an enemy, and I shot him, and I talked and he did die, and I talked to him. He was like, but you're supposed to be afraid of you're shooting me. I, like, I felt immediately bad. I stopped playing our right way. <laughs> what was what was the game that came out recently? It was the latest, like uh, StarCraft or something. Bethesda. StarCraft. Bethesda. Oh, Starfield. Starfield. That's it. And uh, everyone's just like shooting NPCs in the face, making them slightly agitated. And then like, I cannot condone this. And then the guy's like, No, no, it's cool. I promise I won't do that again. And she's like, All right, I forgive you. Accept your person. yield. It's funny is that people were like, were like, you know what? If this game isn't going to be good, at least it'll be as funny as Oblivion. Let me tell you. Which it is. Put... People memed the shit out of it as soon as it came out. At first, yes. Um, the moment the passed. Thing is, 
I remember when I said bacon. Remember when I was talking about bacon. He was on Starfield for a little bit, and then after about a month, he went back to Oblivion and hasn't looked back. Yeah. So that tells you all you need to know about Starfield. Didn't Bethesda say they were making Sky uh, Elder Scrolls Six still on the Skyrim engine? Yeah. It was like no, they're not making a new engine is hard. I, I get it, but uh, totally unnecessary. It's... Skyrim engine holds up. Nothing wrong with it. <laughs> can, can you imagine Bethesda trying to work with a new engine? It would it would be hilariously buggy. So they should. You convinced me that you should. Fuck. <laughs> All right. I didn't think that was an argument. I thought it was common knowledge that they, that Skyrim engine was outdated. No, I knew that. I just like okay. I, I was like getting it where I'm like okay, they probably won't because and then I'm like thinking about it, I'm like, no oh, shit, that is a good idea. Whoa. <gasps> Ooh, you're you're. <laughs> I ruined it's it. Cool. That I was, was a, cool. I was a ninja for a brief second. Impo oh. sensed me outside. He's like, "I see you, child." So this just goes to Impa's house. This is not actually the locations of the memories I need to go to. No, you got to find them yourself. So look up, look at your uh, that part of your album. Okay. Can I delete these? No. Darn. Yes? No, cannot can't delete, delete data. Okay, so just keep in mind these are all 100 years in the past, so... Well, this looks like the front of the Temple of Time. Possibly. Uh... I think it's near the Ritos, because that bird was flying above. Then again, that's definitely in front of, uh, of like, Hyrule Castle. And, like, the first that's one? That's the... Uh, yeah, the, that first one, that's definitely in front of Hyrule Castle. Yeah, I kind of figured or, that. But the way it looks, it looks like it, it looks like you're you're approaching Disney World. Yeah. <laughs> For, in, in Florida. That's Disney Castle. Uh, Battlements. A lake. Tree. Don't remember if I've seen the the horse statue. Uh, I keep, again, these are all like 100 years in the past, so they're not going to be totally oh, that accurate. one's mine. Oh, I wish that when you took a picture for the compendium, it didn't force you to save it. Because I keep just having to, like, take a bunch of pictures and delete them over and over again. Yeah. That was, yeah some of them are kind of artistic. So uh, the, cool. This is the only one that looks like a place I would recognize immediately, assuming it is the Temple of Time. Uh, that w Okay, so that other one is, like, is, like, through the crag... Through the so, yeah. the Twin Peaks, yeah, the Dueling Peaks, uh, I, yeah, the Dueling. So there's Dueling Peaks one over there. There's uh, the well, right. We can see the Dueling Peaks in it anyway. Yeah, yeah. It's three trees on an island. Map. It's up to you. Like, uh, so this is where the peaks are. Yeah, Dueling Peaks are over there, which means oh, go down. Down? Yeah, okay, right, left. This way? Left, no, left, left, left! Okay. This? Move your cursor left there. Yeah, there. It's That's either probably... it's either one of these, or it's like this island before they built the bridge on it. Korok. I think it's, I think it's it that just... one. Wait, you it just the tells me there's there. a core. Okay. Why is it... You found it there. But I didn't, like, it. get it? No, you did get it. That's why the Koroks... Oh. Huh. I don't know why it would mark every location there's a Korok. Uh, for completionist's sake. Aren't there, like, a thousand of them? Perhaps. I think you can turn that off. Oh, hey, look at to your left, under the, your, uh, your stats. The uh, bird is flying. Oh, yeah. Is that still, like, safer than, like, just breaking it up with, like, a heavy object? Not a, that works. Yep. I'm just saying, I'm just, yeah, because the, the spear did it. I'm just saying that you'd be less likely to, to, like, lose shit if you do that. I guess. I don't have to, like, waste durability if I do this, though. Yep. 
Yeah. If it's on like a cliffside where it's gonna tumble down into oblivion, then sure. Fair enough. Opals and rock salt. I do. Did I remember you breaking that area before? So, so I do. I, I guess blood moons they do like respawn. So. Since we're here, let me double check that there's no like three trees or anything. Uh, the trees could be gone too. Yeah, the island could be changed. I'm just saying that there was an island with like in front of a in front of the crag. So the Twin Peaks crag. Yeah, woo! We're so bad. There's also like a, a ramp of earth going up. Yeah. It's pretty far away from it. We we could be over we could be underestimating just how far away it is, but I yeah, think it looks like we might be too close. Yeah. But it's all the way We're... back here. Oh, back in Lake Lake Kokomo. That's where you wanna go. <laughs> yeah, it's you're right, it's probably it is probably that one. Say this and we could take it slow. Everybody knows. I, I will grant Mike Love one thing is that he made Kokomo and Kokomo is all right. I, I, I can't hate that song. Yeah. There's a lot of songs that are worse than that. The guy's like, it's, it's, it's just soundtracking the sad, paunchy, like, uh, boomer years era. And I'm like, dude, I'm 30 now i'm like over 30 now i get it i'm lamenting my wasted youth it's not that the dude wrote bad songs it's that he wrote three of them and took credit for 80 of them <laughs> yeah he wrote three of them took credit for 80 of them and then insisted that the the ideal way to make good music was, was because of a formula and that's why i cannot stand him well you got three beach boys but not me no you can't tour as the beach boys stop saying you're the beach boys now, excuse me while I go tour as the Beach Boys alone. Uh. Have I opened that chest before? If you did, maybe it, like, uh, respawned itself. The exchange ruins, huh? Okay. Good. Yeah. Good garbage weapon, I guess. You might... Okay. Not thinking you're too far. <laughs> Are you going to use your new ability? The cooldown, uh, once you use all of them, isn't too bad. That's going to be so convenient. I don't have it. I need to do this dungeon immediately. Because that is so useful. Just to have... I think, okay. Even if it, even if if it wasn't a matter of distance, that is like a good. Uh, that matches with like the. Okay, and then cooldown is. I think. I think it's like. Uh, I want to say. Like it's like several minutes. Why are you? Where are you going? I'm looking for the. There's like the. The ramp. island's over there. Okay, you think that's the island? I think that's that's the island. Yeah. Keep in mind, hundred years have passed. Oh, there's the there's the piece of land. Oh, it's not on an island. It's uh, it's on. Well, it's, it's taken, by the coast. Yeah, it's taken from the perspective of a piece of land jutting out towards an island. And we just assumed it was an island because. No, no, it is an island. I I mean, I just no, this isn't an island though. This is that we're just around a lake. Yeah. So okay, there we go. Same trees, hundred years later. Press A to remember. Remember, Link. All right, cutscene time. So dripping wet. <gasps> From here, we'll make our way to Goron City. Then, 
We'll need some adjustments on that divine beast so Daru can manage it as easily as possible. He's figured out how to get it to move. However, it's apparent that we still have much more to learn. But to think, that divine beast was actually built by people. I <laughs> should be able to understand how it works. And it <laughs> Shit. Oh, Link, you're such a good listener. So much we don't know. But if we want to turn back Calamity Ganon, they're our best hope. I understand, ma'am. Tell me the truth. How proficient are you right now wielding that sword on your back? Legend says that an ancient voice <coughs> resonates inside it. Can you hear it yet, hero? Fi? Fi? Master, there is a 0.5% chance that you will beat Calamity Ganon. Without any additional support. Alright, cool. So that's one of them. That's Bass and Backstory. Well, that was the only one that... Uh, well, no, we the Temple of Time I, I felt reasonably certain of. Yeah, and I have gotten the first one before, so... You still can't delete it. Sorry. I'll go check there. Yeah, you think that's Temple of Time? Do you know that it's not? I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't, so... I mean, it is better than... no. Your idea is better than my idea, and I have no fucking idea. Where was the Temple of Time? Up here? Uh, yeah, so, no, that's, that's, uh, Hyrule Bridge, uh, you're getting closer, I think. You're just, you're just, like, I think it's further south. I remember it was on the plateau, but I don't remember where the plateau was. Oh, Mount Daphne's. There's a lot of places in this game named after uh, named after Majora stuff. I thought that was kind of cool. Oh, there's F F Fear River. Oh, I thought it was Fi River. Uh, you're. I, it's not to the west. Definitely not. So it's probably gonna be more to the east. Well, now I'm just looking at place names because I remember Fair. seeing some cool ones. But uh... fair enough. I think there was the Sar one named after Saria. No, I don't see them anymore. Oh. Yes, it's Sarjan Woods. No, I don't know what that's mean. Uh, it wasn't near any paths, because there weren't any paths on the plateau itself. You've... I, 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 I hate to be rude, but you've been wrong before <laughs> on locations. Uh... Find find the sh okay. What you're looking for is going to be the 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 shrine of awakening. That's that's near enough to the temple of time. No. Uh. No. There's bowling. Yeah, bowling. So it's not up there. Uh, further. So Wasteland Tower. No, not there. Um, How did we lose it? Can't go home again. Okay, th this was. Let's backtrack from like the first stream. This was the dueling peaks. We came yep. from this way. Yeah. Central I, tower. I don't, I don't think it was north. Yeah. Okay, you're getting closer. Great plateau tower. Okay. Uh, yeah, we stamped it. it. You stamped it with a star, and, and we forgot. <laughs> okay. Shrine of Resurrection. Back to where it all started from. Get right back. Alright. Uh, what are we doing now? We're going... We're there. going We're gonna... to Temple of Time to see if that's a, a memory location. Yep. <clears throat> I had a thought recently. You know how yeah. in the Pokemon anime, Ash is now retired, and they're presumably doing, like, a new character and story for each new generation? Yeah. Do you think Do you think they do a Pokemon Isekai? Like, uh... if someone from a, a our world or a non-Pokemon world gets dumped into the world of Pokemon, and that's the that story be... for that season. That'd be weird that I think that caused too much cognitive dissonance. Yeah. Uh, to, so I don't think they'd want to risk it. 
It'd be a uh, way to have the character, like, need everything about Pokemon explained to them. Yeah, I I, uh, I actually read a Pokemon Isekai story. Or no, I didn't read it. I, uh, I Somebody was telling me about it. Uh, Pokemon's not really a, a fan fiction uh, area I uh, dive deep into. Right over there, yeah. Uh, oh man, it it that that ability loads up kind of slowly. Oh yeah, yeah. So uh, that one is uh, when the guy got uh, uh, from our world, or at least a variation of our world, gets uh, isekai'd into uh, Pokemon World. Um, and he gets isekai'd to Pokemon World uh, after. Uh, after a nuclear Armageddon, and okay. he has like injuries from it. <laughs> it's just like this badly like burned dudes. Like ah, uh, this is all these Pokemon people. Like, what happened to you? Did you? Were you on the wrong end of a magmar? No, Sarbomba. Sarbomba is that a new Pokemon? The fuck's a Pokemon? I think he played the Pokemon games, so... Uh... They kinda sorta did an Isekai thing with the... With the Legends Arceus game. Except that was someone from, like, the future Pokemon world being flung through time. Yeah, and... And, and the, the the person who was the, the female companion in that game... Is just literally fucking Dawn, except her ancestor, I guess? Yeah. There were a bunch of characters that were, like... Ancestor versions of Diamond Pearl characters. Yeah. Another pair. Hylian trousers. You Wait, got what? two of them. Why would I oh, want you two? Die. You could die them. You get like to fifteen. Yeah, you could just die them. You have a second. That's weird that there's two. It's, now. it's a worse version. Yeah. Oh, because they're not like upgraded. Yep. Anyway, uh. Oh, what? There was a choo-choo in there. Um, look at the look at the thing again. Yeah. Okay. So it's facing what? Is that the bird? Yeah, the bird's up there. Um, and there's like a bunch of fucking like, there's already ruins. So if the bird was there, then it probably couldn't be this close. To the Temple of Time. But then, but then where else could it be? Are there any ruins we found near here? I don't know. <laughs> I don't I... think that we're going to get all of these, like, memories on stream. No, no, well, if you don't, you can always replay them, so... This is something that I'm going to have to look up. I do know, however, where the where the one, the first one is. The one, the very first one. It's just literally in is Hyrule it... Field. Okay, is it surrounded by guardians? Because, like, they hang out near zoom Hyrule in. Castle. Zoom in. Go up, go up north and zoom in. There? There. That's, that's, where you're, that's where you're wanting to go. You have a ninja suit. Just sneak by him. <laughs> I show you that, uh, that fan art from Vinny's stream of uh, him, like, hiding from a guardian and a vocal blend is just saying fuck you and throwing rocks at him while he's trying to hide. <laughs> <laughs> no, I died. I missed that. Ah, fuck you. Great image. Yeah. You just cannot read a map to save your life, man. I found it. <laughs> just, just like north, north, east. Swimming in cold water will lower your body heat. Cooked food and cold and warm garb won't help you. Oh, that's right. We're not in cold anymore, so I can. Uh... You want to? You want to wear? Uh, wear the ninja suit, or you want to wear the? Uh... Yeah, ninja suit. Okay. So you want to go over there? You, you know, you probably could have used like the the map ability to just drop, drop down like a uh, like a what a pillar of light a pillar of light. Oh yeah, I guess I could have. 
Yeah, so you, it help you with navigation. Oh well. That guy shot at you, by the way. It's fine. He's not bothering anyone. Yeah. So so it'll so if you can crouch and then it'll it'll drop your noise level down to, to just nothing. So that's that's good. I think this is the second most, uh, like, uh, like popular outfit among uh, certain artists. Yeah. Uh, the, the first, first obviously, one. being the Gerudo one. Yeah. I mean, what? What's the Ger what Gerudo one? What are you talking about? Warm Darner, Hylian Shrooms. I had a dream the other night. That yeah. I had like an open world video gamey type mind space that I could access anytime. Oh yeah. And by That's doing it. like side quests and things in that mind space, I could retroactively change the like the previous events of my life. That's that's a cool game idea. You should write that down. Also, I was Baki Hanma, so I went from like the current living situation to having a like a normal family home life. <laughs> that's there you go. You did it. You got what you wanted. Well, you're getting closer. I like how this is the scariest, like, area of the entire game. I don't want to waste bomb arrows. Put those away. I have two left. Yeah. Hunting. Going hunting. This is going to be regular meat. That's fine. Meat's meat. How much rice do you got? Probably none. I don't think I found any since the last time. Or just the one you have to let you know that rice exists. Yeah. yeah. That's what I do too. Ready. Oh, thank right, you, Rivali. Uh, your bird is yeah. Your bird's refreshed. He just he just announced it. Cool. He's always with you. I guess. That's a guardian. It's fine, you got a sneaking snoot suit. Sneaking snoot, fuck. Uh... I'm very sneaky. Oh, it sees me. Don't care. Nope, you can't hit me, I'm busy remembering. How did it see you? You were being sneaky! I guess line of sight. Oh, you're gonna do it with the sneak the suit on. Hero of Hyrule, chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. You have shown unflinching bravery and skill in the face of darkness and adversity, and have proven yourself worthy. She sounds so unenthused. Whether skyward bound. I don't love the Zelda voice. I don't hate it. It's okay. Twilight. It sounds like the soul of the hero. Like a very like, realistic series. For your protection. Yeah. And we hope that that the two of you will grow stronger together as one. Like this sounds like audio from a live action adaptation. Forged in the long distant past. Hey, this yeah. is uplifting. She's making it sound like we already lost. Wasn't this your idea? You're the one who wanted to designate the appointed night with all the ceremonial pomp, grandeur, and nonsense we could muster. And if you ask me, the whole thing does seem to be overkill. I think I'm on the same page. Oh, shut up. He's just got to do this for 20 hours, and then his power will awaken. Give it a rest. That boy is a living reminder of her own failures. Well, at least that's how What? Wow. That's a thing to drop. Yep. There you go. You are. I see you as a as a reminder that I failed. Therefore, I hate you. Okay, so the relationship. He remembered that. He heard that. He so he's like, man, was that really that much of a failure to Zelda? Oh, oh hello. Nope, 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 nope. I'm warping. Run. 
He's just like... He's gonna take the shot, and then you're gonna disappear into a stream of, uh... <laughs> like a ninja. Pop smoke. Uh, let, let's go meet the Zoras. You wanna do that? You wanna start that already? I Should we not? I'm just saying, is that... Have you gone to the Gerudo yet? No. Have you well, not, you I, not explored I've the access, desert? I've but I haven't. No. I'm saying... Uh, the desert... Um... That, that side quest is interesting. It's got some interesting equipment. Um, yeah. You sell bomb arrows. I don't know. You, you can do what you want. If you want to meet the Zoros, you can. Uh, I guess I'm just walking out there. Yeah, there's a... Uh... Nope, bye. All right. I forgot. Um, It's kind of hot there. Yeah? Yeah. I, I don't have any hot resist clothes yet. Nope. Uh, anyway. It's not too hot. It's somewhat hot. Um, I think you should be fine. As long as you stay in the shade or travel at night. Come the wrong direction. Um... Where's my sneaking snoot? <laughs> snoot? <laughs> Fuck, it's like a- it's like a fucking viral meme that just took us- took over our consciousness. Uh... I guess that's a path down there. Yeah, you just drop with it and then, like, slide down. <laughs> Brave hero, you- she just sounded so fucking just like, I don't want to be here right now. I don't like... What's that, an electric slime? Oh, it's too cold! Oh. Darn. You well, it's okay, we're on. prepared for cold. Is that, is that, uh... Yeah, it's just electric slime. Being teased. You, I think you can only put one on, and then still keep, like, some of the sneaking benefits. Yes, oh well. Have I met you guys before? They're just, they're moblins, except, except, uh... They see, they look a bit more, uh... Ow! Angry. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, I've met you. Yeah, All yeah. Right. Looking for an oasis. An oasis? There is an oasis nearby. There it is. That means that there's another memory. Hello. New region, who dis? So uh, this, is, this is the camel monster. It's a giant battle tank that walks. That thing looks like something you would skew it like a boss battle in Metal Slug. Are you taking me to the Gerudos because this is the first place you went? Maybe! Now why would you have come to the Gerudo location first, Jack? <laughs> I don't know, I chose it at random. Like, I didn't know where the other four places were, and I just was like, hey, Gerudos, fuck it. And I did it, and I'm like, hmm. I just put off the other three. Hello. They'll all come running. I was just a Hylian. Someone told me there were thieves in Gerudo Town, and I've been jumping at shadows ever since. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do you got in your Emporium? Arrows? Okay. arrows. Use arrows, I guess. Yeah, just buy arrows whenever you see them. Restless Cricket, Apples. <laughs> Okay. Uh legs. You uh 
Hi. I'm gonna give this to a fisherman. Don't think that's a side quest, but... This is Kara Kara Bazaar. Gerudo Town is still a fair distance southwest if you're headed there. You should consider resting a bit. Although... You are a vow. A vow. He, he doesn't question the word vow. He just asks about the other stuff. Oh. It's famous for staying active and vibrant all night long. Gerudo Town is Vegas? Yeah, it's Vegas for women only. Guardian Deity for the Gerudo people, but it suddenly started acting up a while back. There's nothing we can do to stop it either. It's protected by a fierce sandstorm and intense lightning. It's... <laughs> if this were Pokemon, those two things would be incompatible. Sand and lightning. Well, I mean, I get it. I I've heard of dry lightning in, like, a... Uh... Dusty areas. I've seen it in, when I was living in Vegas as a kid. Is this shrimp fresh? <sighs> I don't give a fuck. Why are you standing on the meat? Uh. Alright, what are they selling? Uh. So we got... Uh, yeah, Burger King steak. foot meat. So we got seared steak. Roasted bass and Lizalfo's and... tail. Is Alpha's tail? Is that, is that supposed to be food? Whatever. What's an ingredient, uh, I guess? Yeah, it could be worse. Uh, the fire. Doggy. You're a doggy. I can't pet the dog. Alright, um, you can cook uh, yeah. stuff that'll cool you down here. How can they make an old Vi work this late? Huh? Got plenty of hydro melons. I bet more than you'll find in Gerudo Town. Hydro melons, yeah, that's a that's a good. Keep hydrated in the desert. Palm fruit uh, doesn't offer any special effects, but will increase your heart to heart recovery. Yeah, so you combine that with the fucking hydro melon, and you can make a nice, refreshing, cool. Um... Oh. Yeah. So if you wanna if you wanna head out into the desert during the day, uh, you're gonna need hydromelon. If you do it at night, well, you already got stuff to keep you warm. So fuck it. I'm only sixteen. Yeah, 16. probably don't need that many even. It depends on how how. Uh, what's the, what's the, what are you saying? What? I can't read it. I can't read it. The, I can't read the message that the chat is posting because because uh, it's too. Hydromelon sounds more refreshing than watermelon. Oh, yeah. Totally. Uh, that person's asleep. So you're near the... So, one of the things was, uh... One of the, the uh, memory sticks. Hmm? Gerudo Scimitar. No katanas in this game. Wait, no, there are. 16 power. Oh, hey, Beetle. Hey. We could throw it. <laughs> Today is Crustomer dagger. Appreciation Day. Crustomer repeat. Crustomer? Uh, to be struck by one of these is to be co signed to Oblivion in an instant. Is it like a light arrow? Deals devastating damage even against Guardians. Yeah. It's useful for taking out Guardians. You gotta hit him in the eye with it, though. Go way past north past Zora's Domain all the way to Akala Ancient Tech Lab. Okay, yeah, there's a second tech lab. So what he you makes call a mad scientist. You want to go find the mad scientist? Oh, that's right. We were going to uh, go visit Pura. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is... It's fine. This is a very unstructured stream. This is a perfect podcasting stream. Uh, so, arrows, I, ten I arrows. I do kind of want to buy arrows, but at the same time, we're going to have, like, equipment that we'll have to buy soon. Yeah. And I don't know if you got a whole lot of sell shit. Uh, there's a memory around here is what I was trying to say, so oh. just keep that in mind. Oh. Oops. Sorry. Vasak. I want- what are you selling? I only sell arrows. Oh, right. Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Do you need something else? Come back soon. Shock arrow. Bomb arrow. Elemental arrows. Fire. Yeah. 
Hello? They're Vine. all taller. When I say Divine Beast, I'm talking about that giant thing roaming around the desert. But he's got bad sandstorms, and apparently it'll blast you with lightning if you get too close. Goodbye. I don't want to be stuck here. I oh. hope the hero comes. What if the hero can never, like, do his thing because he's not allowed in Gerudo Town? Because you guys are sexist. What if that you happens? Gotta not sexist. They're not sexist because they're operating a, an outpost here. This is the this is the, like the Gerudo Town Foreign Quarter. Oh, I'm just saying. What if them being like exclusionary makes it so that the oh. hero can't save them? Blood Moon's coming. Oh. Hey. Your oh, merchant. I'm a merchant. Yeah, I, I didn't even think what I was just saying. Be stranded out here. Wanted to make it to Gerudo Town to sell our goods, but we were stopped before we could go in. They only let women into that town. Think that we came all the way out here. Our leader went there to try to figure out how we can get inside, but he hasn't come back yet. Either he hasn't had a ton of luck, or he's had a lot of luck. Or maybe they got him. I saw a shrine. Probably worth activating that. Yeah. So you can get back here quickly. Another night of the blood moon. What a horrible night to have a curse. What if there's some time loop thing going on? And it's actually been like the same three days over and over and over again. For hundreds of years? Yeah. Nah, well, people have acknowledged it's hundreds of years, so... Do the seasons change? What if they've the just been counting the days? Dude. You, we might be just blowing my mind. Volt fruit. Okay. Now, here's a question. Can you climb? Can you touch that cactus and not get injured? Oh, I can't climb it, but I can touch it. Can you cut it down? Get, get the cactus. Yeah! It's fine. Next Blood Moon, it'll come back. Wait. Uh. There's some keys about. Uh oh. What? Oh, oh! Is there a shrine closer to the uh? To the to the oasis? No. Or I guess that's the only shrine that's like that close. I don't know. I didn't see one. Huh. I thought there was. Ooh, skeleton. Hello. I, as you can see, I'm... You look like mm. your everyday traveler, but how can I be so sure? I'm a Gerudo soldier. Ever heard of the Yiga clan? Got a tip that yeah. some of them go incognito as travelers to ambush the un unwary. Okay. Watching out for them Yigas. The Yiga ninjas. Which are like a death cult sworn to Ganon. Sounds weird, but it's happened before, so whatever. Ganon sworn death cult ninja assassins. That was the, that was that was the enemies in Zelda 2 was like a Ganon cult. Ganon cult. Game over, return of Ganon. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. For some reason the blood of Link allows that to happen. Remember it was crazy that um that, like, fucking Zelda 2 was all about, like, uh... Not Zelda 2, Castlevania 2, like, after you kill Ganon, and it's like, shit, we need to resurrect Ganon so we can kill him again, because I, I got a curse. Hello? Oh, it's a Vo, you can handle this. Oh, no, she she's talking to herself. Yep. Hi, nice to meet you too, Kira. Wandering the world, learning what I can't, learning what I can, and seeking my dreams. I can tell just from looking at you, you have a place in my dreams, don't you? You're my dream girl. No, oh, I know this one. Oh, that's a shame. Oh well, have a nice day anyway. I took my shot.
She just said I'm just a traveler. Oh well. Just walking through the desert. Activate a shrine. As my smartphone uh, beeps at me constantly. Is your smart? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Cause you're, uh, yeah. Okay, well, it's warp point to Gerudo City. So that's good. Hello. I was so focused just now. Do you have business with me? Are you spying? No, I'm doing research. Research. I'm the leader of a caravan. I've traveled all the way here, but this town doesn't allow men to go in. So that's why I had to, uh... You're spying, aren't you? It's research! <laughs> he is research! Think what you want, but I finally found some key info on how to sneak into Gerudo Town. Ah. What info? Allow me to share with you my heroic tale! Sure. It's been close to a week now. The guards have kicked me out more times than I can count. Ah. I almost gave up hope. However... I have learned only recently of a man that slipped into this well-guarded town. Heard he's frequently traveling between Karakara Bazaar and Gerudo Town. I've been waiting here trying to spot him as he travels. Oh. Okay. Good luck with that. Gee, I wonder how he got in. Oh well, let's activate the shrine. Probably... yeah. Oh yeah, now that you got like a couple, I guess you could go back to uh, Impa. Uh, whenever you can, and just uh... oh, of the memories. Yeah, and then and then fill and then uh, fill out that part of the quest. You know, if you can find the fucking town, I, I'll, I'll <laughs> get it. There it is, Kakariko. Oh man, you should remember to do that shrine. Oh well. I, I always do the shrines whenever I get to them, so I don't forget to. Oh well. It tells you on the map whether they're uh, completed or not. Fuck, you're right. If you can buy monster parts with other stuff, you can create... hungry again. I can tell. <laughs> I can hear you loudly getting into a bag of something. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Capture memories is the... What are you doing? I'm going to get careful. You're, 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 you're fidgeting around in the menu. I was like wondering what you were doing. I was checking which direction Kakariko was in. Oh. Impa! I remember shit! Now that you've seen some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember certain things. Yeah. Here, I will hand this over to you now before I forget. Oh, okay. yeah. Equipping it will reveal an enemy's life gauge. Uh. This clothing was specially made for you when you became a champion. Please handle it with care. By the way, how are you faring thus far? You've gained the power of Rivali. I thank you for freeing one of the Divine Beasts from Calamity Ganon's control, but there are others still. The Divine Beast Va Naboris remains. That one was controlled by Urbosa of the Gerudo. Yep. Okay, she's just listing the other beasts. Yep. Oh. And yeah, hey, I marked them for you. Oh, the... The Goron area, the volcano, is, like, super hot. We need, like, cooling equipment for that. Yeah, cooling equipment. Or just, like, some really, really good, like, refreshing beverage. I tried going in naked. It didn't help. <laughs> Probably made it worse. Alright. You did it. The memories you had are, uh... Oh, are offerings. <laughs> Okay, uh, visiting Pura and the Mad Scientist. Not up there. Where was Pura? It was past Zora. Oh, is Pura? Oh, no, that's a bat at Heiteno Village. Yeah, that was it. Yep. Right now, where is it? There you go. <laughs> you left your horse there? Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, how, how, I guess you haven't used the horse that often. Don't tell him. I have a sneaking suspicion that he's giving information about nuclear arms to our enemies. <laughs> the horse? Yeah. Remember <laughs> you reverse Caligula? I trust this horse's counsel. Versus this horse is giving nuclear codes. I don't trust him. Hello. Something on your mind? Oh, uh, who's Robbie? My subordinate. I think he's still up on the edge of Akala researching guardians. Haven't seen him in a hundred years, though, so who knows? Anything else? <laughs> Bless ya. Bring me some ancient materials. I'll power up your runes. That's how you're supposed to know. Three ancient screws, three ancient shafts. Three ancient three cores ancient... for stasis. And... Okay. Yeah, do it. Yeah, I got the things. Just do it now. <laughs> do it. Do it now. Ancient materials. Which okay. rune do you want to power up? How does the Sheikah sensor even power up? Oh, it's useful. You, you can search for whatever you want. You, it, it works like the shrines, except for whatever you want. Oh, so we can, like, create our own warp spots? No, not create your own warp spots. You just can uh, find, like, enemies and items. It's like, it's like, you, it's like, tra like a metal detector, except for, like, whatever you have in the compendium. Well, I definitely want you... better bombs. Oh, totally. Just don't kill you. It'll be easier to kill yourselves with them, so be careful. I'll be fine. Yeah, I figure, I figure you will. Cool, the bombs actually deal more damage now. They recharge faster as well. Okay. Next one. <laughs> you have any other runes to power up? Just let me know. Yep. Hey, can we just like do all of these at once? No. That'd be too convenient. I have I have so many of all this ancient shit. Yeah, I mean there you go. And you, Is and it you just still once need... each time. Yeah, just the one. I think. Anyway, yeah, you should still keep them because you can improve like a certain kind of armor. Uh, there's an armor that uses them as like upgrade material. So I guess that's where the uh, trademark outfit comes from, is by doing the memories quests. Yeah. Uh. It's weird how, you, how the trademark outfit is just locked behind something that is, like, kind of out of the way. And besides, there's outfits that are more useful than that. And look cooler, too. Like the Tingle outfit. I was talking about the uh, Assassin's Creed, like, or hood, fantasy hooded uh, outfit, but... Uh, did I say, now you can search for compendium, compendium items. Very useful. Can we search for memory locations? Uh, no. I don't know if it's picking up on the mic, but it just started raining real hard. Did it? How? How? Shit. Uh, no, I, I don't hear anything. <laughs> Is it, I forget. Uh, battle the the uh, Portland uh, area is just like is is just a fucking calamity of, like, weather. Yeah, there's just been this uh, giant robot walking around town. I don't know if it has anything to do with the uh, rainstorms. <laughs> to see a giant robot just walking around, and you're just like, nope. She said something about talking to uh, her and her assistant about further upgrades to the slate. I'm, I guess, I guess you can. I don't know what I don't know how what other kind of upgrades there could be. I mean, so you already I, upgraded I all know. this There's stuff. 
I upgraded all this stuff. If there are other upgrades besides that, I don't know. So... What's this? You already went and powered them all up. Suppose with your Sheikah Slate and your legendary swordsmanship, we have nothing to fear. Okay. Yeah. Sup? That you can sense things that you've captured with your camera. Displaying won't do it justice. Why not learn by trying? Go take a picture of the sun shroom. Did you already do that? Why, good job! Y yes. Uh. Oh, I didn't? Oh, okay, we, you didn't. You, ca you captured a picture of a lot of things. You did not capture a picture of a sun shroom. So, yeah, just go take a picture of a sun shroom and then... Or you, or you don't have to. You can just leave them to dry, and then we can try to find the mad scientist. Uh oh, that's a pitchfork. Uh oh, you ever see that like uh, viral clip of a uh, like uh, like this uh, the same name for this uh, for for a gardening tool also can mean an immoral pleasure seeker, and then the one guy t chimed in and is like. What's a hoe? No. They teach you that in school? No, I have a fucking picture. Shut up. <laughs> no, it's not the exact picture. Replace it. <laughs> Is it the one I told you? Well, I got a sun shroom. That's not the one I told you. Follow directions, idiot! Is it, is it because I need to still have the picture in my album? I probably took it, like, a long time ago and deleted it because it was taking up space. Uh, maybe? I got a picture of a, of the sunshroom. It... <sighs> okay, does it have to be... Like, can it just be a compendium? It's probably- it'll be- it will be the compendium. Do I have three sun shrooms? Damn it! He requested to get three sun shrooms using the sensor. Well, you Stop may have three, but you don't have the right three. You're trying to cheat me, son? Being a smart ass. Alright, so go to the album. Hyrule Compendium. Yeah, and then you want to find yourself sun shroom. The fuck? Are you taking these on like a parking lot concrete? <laughs> what the fuck? It's I, I so took, clean. I took many of them in the snow because that's where <laughs> I first happened to have the thing. <laughs> uh, target with sensor. Yep. Searching for sun shroom. Okay, now you you back out and then and then it'll uh... sun shroom nearby. Uh, map. Oh? It's not gonna show up on the map, it'll show up the same way you find, uh... Oh, that's stupid. Same... It fucking sucks to try and find shrines with that. <laughs> it's better than nothing! I'm not gonna use that! <laughs> You're just gonna say fuck it and just collect apples? Yeah. I wonder, I wonder if you can make an apple pie. I think that's a recipe. Just finish the side quest. It could give you something for it. He said something about a forest. I guess that wasn't the forest. No, that wasn't the forest. That's a fucking... Hello. Not a forest. No. Yeah, I suppose, I suppose you should go in there. Oh, that's not... Yeah, that's the camera. You're looking for the uh, there it binoculars. Is. What? No. What the what the fuck's the binocular button? Uh, not that. You hit a diff. How about try hitting new buttons? It was it was R three. Where is that? Oh, that's way out there. I'll save. For yeah. Later. Uh, I think that that might be. I don't know. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say shit.
like a guy playing, there was a person playing a tabletop game, and she was like, I know who the killer is! I know who the killer is! And then the guy was like, no, wait, what do you mean? It's like, I, I know who the killer is! Okay, yes, we know that, but, but, wait, but who, who, I know who the killer is! And then some guy finally is like, hey, you know, you're gonna have to start saying new words. Yeah? And just, like, and she ended up being incorrect, but it's just like the idea of just like somebody trying to get, say, hey, can you specify? And just them repeating the same information over and over again. Where? The mushrooms are nearby! Yeah, where wow, are the mushrooms? real useful. Maybe, there, it can only point you to where it is. You gotta use your, you gotta use your eye holes in order to like find them. It's like the item finder in Pokemon. You know the thing that's useless and no one fucking uses ever? Hey, look, you found one! It'll just point you in the direction of, hey, this is no, where this- it doesn't this point you in the direction. Hey, you know, okay, so here's how- here's how it works. Like, when you- when you're, like, when your character is, like, facing a fucking item, then it- then the thing goes up. If you're not facing it, then- then it goes down. That's how that works. It's- it's like- it's literally like a fucking metal detector. It- this is another game mechanic that you just don't intuitively get, and therefore it's stupid. What was that about facing the thing? You face and you move. Oh, I was slightly wrong on one mechanic. That invalidates everything I... about... about it. Grow up. <laughs> I'd just like if it had, like, at least an arrow to the thing, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, you want you want it to hold your hand and say, "Hey, this is where the item is." Yes, I would like my my radar to direct me to the place well, it's trying to locate. Well, too damn bad. If you wanted a game like that, maybe you should play a babby game. <laughs> Fucking. Maybe you, you I just, will. Just, yeah. I, wasn't there a game based off of Rugrats? Uh, there was recently. They're making recently. A, like a, a Rugrats game in like 2023. There was one in, in PlayStation. There was, yeah. The one I'm talking about, it has, like, uh... You can select between, like, cartoony flash graphics and sprite graphics. Like, they made an NES-looking Rugrats game. This year. Okay. Why? I, I don't that show know. that was canceled because it didn't do so well. The remake, I mean. I did check out, like, I don't know why they're doing, like, Brawlhalla crossover. You yeah, think with, uh, with Spongebob. Yeah, you think that'd be competition. For Nick All-Star Brawl 2 is just about to come out. It's pretty weird. Yeah, and, and it's still it's still looking pretty good. Or are, are people being, like, are people I, seeing through, like, uh, the... Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Something? I good got your morning. blood mushrooms. Now hand over three. Yep, here they are. I have some hearty tr- Oh, he gave you food. Was it to your liking? No! Okay, you got another side quest. I found a I way guess. to help you search for new objects using the Sheikah Sensor Plus. Okay. Please feel free to show your excitement. Anytime <laughs> now. Anyway. As I was conducting my research, I, I like how even, like, canonically Link was unimpressed. Yeah. Some pictures of the past left on the Guidance Stone. If you add those pictures to your Hyrule Compendium, you can search oh. their subjects with the secret... Okay. You can now access a picture registered in the, in the Hyrule Compendium, allowing you to search for the subject of the picture. That's... Yes, that's what I just did. Yeah. I'm good. Ah. Oh. Well, I'm, oh, I'm, it'll I'm, automatically... It'll auto... Okay. I get it now. Do it.
Is this quest like assuming we have an empty compendium? Yeah. Hey, look, you got something. So, uh, so sometimes people are like, hey, I know shit can get hard trying to get all like 100%. So, this is the uh, this equivalent of like paying whatever kind of coins to get a moon in uh, Odyssey. Seems a Hyrule Compendium recovered a picture from the past. You can't restore transferred pictures, so be careful of overwriting it. You can fill in open slots by taking pictures with the camera or using the Guidance Stone. Okay. So we, we, we can, like, come here for a free Compendium entry. Not well, a free, not a, paid, free. a paid Compendium yeah, entry. Pay to win. Uh, I don't remember where the mad scientist is. If you want to try to find him, North oh, if you want to disable, if you want to disable the, uh, oh, it is deep. Akala? Okay, yeah, now I remember. It is like yeah, up there. Uh, Skull Lake. I did find one of the one of the labyrinths, which there are apparently four of them. I couldn't figure out what to do with Three. it though. Uh, the labyrinth. You complete him, you get that's you get a third of an armor set. Yeah, I don't know what you mean by complete. Like, how do I um, activate it? You get you go in through where you you go in. Did you just climb on top of it, or did you just? I guess. Okay. You just complete the. You just finish the labyrinth. There's like a chest, and in the center of that chest is is an item. It's a special item. It's I guess, third, is there, it's like, a, third a of specific outfit. place I was supposed to enter? Uh, you just complete the fucking labyrinth. Acti what do you mean, activate it? It's not a, it's not a, fu it's not a fucking, like, uh, like, Gundam. I think the one I found didn't have a floor. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you didn't have a floor? So I uh, found this maze out in the wild, right? And it uh, didn't have a floor on it. Didn't know what to do. Okay. Uh, By the way, you can you can uh, unselect it to turn it back to shrine mode. But you know, it's just it's still. Decent oh, I lose to access to the shrine functionality while I'm doing this shit too. <laughs> How do I it change that? Uh, <laughs> you just decent. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> no, I don't want to... <laughs> fucking worthless. <laughs> it's useful! You just gotta... If you want to find, like, a like a creature that drops, like, something that can improve your armor, you just pop that on, and, and it'll give you more direction than none at all. People are going to call me stupid anyway, but just to alleviate it a little bit, let me see if I can find the labyrinth that I did find. Find the labyrinth you did find. Or find the which labyrinth wow. that I... Was it this one? That one. Wait, I've been up there! That has a floor! <laughs> no, it was this one. This was the one that I went to. Didn't have a floor. I completed all three of them. What do you mean they don't have a floor? I don't know. I just I I went here and I just was like you're, running along the you're, roofs. You're and... going back. You're going back to that at some point. <laughs> also, look at you... it. Look at the map. It's not a labyrinth. It's just a bunch of rings. You're going back there. I... All right. Fucking... We'll go back there after we visit the mad scientist. Yeah, let's find the mad scientist. Fuck. That does have a floor. What are you talking about? <laughs> didn't have a floor. We're gonna go back there and it's gonna work like a labyrinth and I'm gonna be like, I don't know what the fuck happened. I swear the last time I was here. <laughs> didn't have a floor. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't dreaming this? <laughs> you were, were having one of your classic lucid dreams about like playing Breath of the Wild and then the labyrinth didn't have a floor? Oh yeah. I had another dream about some kind of like community open mic night. Like a talent yeah. show. And uh, some middle-aged guy performed a really nice swing number. And then immediately after him, two middle school girls came on the stage. They had downloaded a MIDI of his song, and they did it again with insulting parody lyrics. 
Oh, wow. Which was horribly That's... rude, but also extremely impressive that they did it that quickly with no preparation. Maybe they knew he was going to do it ahead of time, and then they just were like... Yeah, we're going we're gonna to destroy the Sinatra fuck. <laughs> How were the crowd reacting? Were they horrified, or were they applauding? I think they were equally surprised that they pulled it off, like, in such short notice. It's like... That's literally impressive. Wait, you're not insulted? No, we won't. This is we, the we can be we both. Wanted. Give me them apples. These are conspicuous apple trees. Is there a Korok around here? Conspicuous apple. I wonder what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to cut them down, or? Oh, I could. That would waste weapon durability. Hmm. I guess if they are conspicuous, maybe the solution to the puzzle is to cut them down. Do I have any good cutting weapons. Apples. You got a claymore. The claymore would be your best bet. Yeah, cutting trees with a sword. What the fuck kind of Korok would ask me to do this? Maybe yeah, I hate nature. That... Fuck nature. Well, that wasn't the solution. Oh well. Let's move on. No, what are you doing? I wanted you to plant a fourth tree. How? That's a big swirly thing out there. I wonder what that is. That's nothing. That is literally, I've been out there. There's a shrine out there, but the, uh, but act, getting access to it is um, pain in the ass. I haven't gotten it yet. I should activate that shrine while I'm here. Hello, wolves. Hello. Wolf meat. Sure would suck if this glider ever broke out of nowhere. It's the most efficient method of travel, just paragliding. Those horses. I forgot he can EI this, like, giant broadsword. <laughs> Imagine, like, a guy with a giant sword on his back, just, like, approaching you, and then he just does a flash step and the sword's out, and you're like, how did you do that? And then you're just closed, just could come, like, torn to ribbons without getting harmed. Just like, how did he do that? That's that impressive. was my Blood Wars picking up. Oh, yeah, that's... It's, it's fun as hell. <laughs> it's bloody, it's, uh... It's morose, but it, it it's like the... I think it's the best arc yet. Um, Got a lot of, like, very cool shots, which I assume are mostly from the manga, in which case Kubo upped his game for the final arc of Bleach. Yeah. I mean, he was so anxious to get to it, right? Because he was stuck doing the fucking, uh, the fucking Arankar arc forever because the editors wanted more Arankar. I feel like having watched Sailor Moon Crystal and seeing, like, the series done good... I feel like Sailor Moon is a very front-loaded series, where she had a plan for the first arc and then just kind of made shit up after that. Bleach yeah, feels like a very rear-loaded series. Like, he was really yeah. withholding everything cool until the very end. Hey, Goron! The other day, a Gerudo woman talked to me on this road. She was from the Gerudo region in the southwest. She was so pretty, her hair was as shiny as stone. The grin. I tried <laughs> to eat it, then she got mad at me. <laughs> Good it? eyes. Ah! Oh, shit! Oh, he's, he's happy again, he's fine. Yeah, he's easily forgiving. Oh, there's a stable here. Oh, that's cool. That means, yeah, that's where the uh, shrine is near. Uh... Hey, Beetle. Wow, you have a rugged rhyme. Nope. Nope. What do you mean, no? 
I don't care about your fucking food. I want rupees. You I, sell I, the guess I, I guess I could trade the beetle and then sell the food. Maybe the food's valuable? I don't know. Maybe? I. I what's the beetle worth? I don't know. He only ever- it did- I guess we could try to sell him the beetle. He probably won't give us as much for it. Aside from- I mean, you could- Rugged so rhino is, beetle. Four rupees. Alright, then the breakfast- then the breakfast is worth more. Tell him again. Just- just uh, back out and then ask him again for it. <laughs> Alright. Vegetable omelet. Vegetable omelet. It's deal. Tough vegetable omelet. That's actually useful. <laughs> how much are you? How much you sell it for? Okay. I mean, I can make my own tough food pretty easily. Wow. There's a there's a, a side plot in Skyward Sword. Where we find out that that beetle is actually like British and and like classy. Oh, well, like Usopin from uh, like the guy who trained Usopp. The what's his name? Heracles. Uh, Heracleson. Yeah, Heracleson. It's in the food. Yeah, it's not. That's not a material. It Tough vegetable. Is forty rupees. Twenty rupee. Forty rupees. All right. That's that's ten times the profit. I, I will it. keep that in mind for the future. Okay. So you can just like sell. Hello. What? Oh, it's a classic-looking Zelda guard. I'm Haas. Got dangerous around here lately. It has. Been yes. hearing about a suspicious guy named Kilton. Runs Kilton a runs a shop called Fang and Bone. They say he goes around pushing some kind of cart night after night. Making people around here uncomfortable with his suspicious and otherworldly activity. Oh, that's not good. I'm so, what, do you think he's a ghost? <sighs> ghost shop. Is it you the Poe? You see this Kilton character tell me all his juicy details. Alright, cool. Like, take I'll a picture keep... of him? Oh. Hello? Hello? I haven't seen you around here. You sure have strange tastes. You look like someone who's traveled willy-nilly all over the world. Well, kind of. I've traveled everywhere, but at the end of the day, I love Akala best of all. That's yeah. why I'm pretty familiar with stuff around here. That's in farther areas. Lighthouse looking home north of here. No one was there when I last stopped by, though. Okay, that's where we need to go. I like to use... I thought he was gonna, like, offer a quest. I guess not. Alright. So, north of here is, uh... Oh, you want to do a shrine? shrine? Yeah, I was yeah, heading to, to the one. East. Shrine to the east. Yeah. How many thingamaguffins do I have? Um, unknown. Wait, how? What time is it? Two. Uh, it's four forty-five. Okay. I thought it was later. I just realized that they set the clocks back, and it's like fucking dusk already. Was that last night or tonight? It was last night. I thought it was last night. I could. I. I could be going crazy. Okay. So. uh... Apparatus. Oh! Oh! Is this another, uh, fucking... Oh, it's, it's, a, it's fucking mini-golf. Okay, give me another one. Patience. Okay. Mini-golf. Yeah, mini golf. There's a chest uh, back behind the shrine, I think. No, that's a dot. Never mind. Where's the was chest? It, was that it? That was that the whole thing? 
It was easy enough. Yo, is there a chest? Maybe it's behind the... Oh, there's a whole nother, uh, fucking... There... <laughs> That's gonna be so... some weapon that I've already, like, already got. Wait, what? Oh, okay. You gotta, you gotta do a, a bank shot. Oh, it's curved, too. Wow, these are slow to respawn. Do I have to, uh, like, exit and re-enter? I guess you do have to leave, yeah. Okay, do it. Not hard enough. Whoa. Harder. It's this That's is, it. If it weren't obvious, this is forced motion controls, by the way. Yep, yeah, I. You know what? At least it's integrated into the into the big fucking console. I. I this is the least uh, bothered I am by it. I'm using a. Uh, I'm using a pro controller. I'm, I'm twisting it pretty violently, and it still doesn't feel, like, very forceful with the hits like that. Yeah, I get you. Hmm. Alright. And you get... a... Great Thrust Blade! Damn it. What do you want to get rid of? Uh... We don't need a scimitar. Yeah. <laughs> That's rough. Look at me! Look at how merrily I skip! Alright, let's talk to Resurrection Bob. Is that his name? Resur is that what we call him? Yeah, sure. Re or Reincarnation Bob. He's got a big-ass hat on his back. Okay, cool. It takes more to, like, increase a certain stat, right? No, or it's four it every time. More? Okay. That's only the Korok Seeds where it just goes up. And that's only if you're doing the same uh, inventory thing. Yeah. So I could get four if I went and did that shrine that we didn't do. I don't remember where that was, though. Well, we should find the Mad Doctor. Up there. It's getting late. Love is the answer. But what is the question? Uh, here I am walking after midnight. Oh, there is a clock. I didn't even see that. It's not PM. after midnight, but yeah. Wait, three streams. It the two stream. Fuck yeah, it, I never saw that. Why am I not surprised? I just I can't be surprised by shit you just miss the entire time. Can't wait for like some monster to like just ambush you. 
Boy, I hope Calamity Ganon is easier to fight than a Lionel. Uh-oh. Well, the good news is it's not moving. Oh, well, D I guess. Suits behind it. You know what? I haven't killed one of these things yet. You want to... Okay. Could use the ancient the... arrow, but I should save that, right? You got two bomb arrows. You should save those. You're behind a rock. You can just d jump out, plink them, and then and then jump back. Hello. Hey, look over here. Missed. Hey, look again. Oh, I didn't miss. His health bar went down. Okay. By the way, how are if how much health a person has left? But with that item, but you already see their health. Yeah. Is it like more direct? You actually see damage values and shit. I don't, I don't know. Get that. Was that leftover dev text that just wasn't like removed? Maybe. You, do I have some other thing that's giving me the ability to see HP? I don't think so. I feel a little bad for it. Got him. All right, what are its drops? Whoa! Something's shooting me. Yeah, somebody heard the commotion and is like, "Hey, I want to fuck with this guy." Oh, it's just a giant skeleton. Thanks is that for it? the arrows, asshole. Yeah, keep firing him. Oh, sometimes they don't. But sometimes they break. Sometimes they break, sometimes... Yeah. Yeah. Alright, you're almost up there. Some unlit torches in the area. Do you have to bring a fucking, like, blue... Like, flaming blue item all the way up here, too, from wherever the fuck? That would track. Well, let's talk to the guy. Hello? Hello. Are you the guy? It's... and... it's... Hi. Hey you! What are you doing here? Oh yeah! Oh. Takahashi old dude! Mm. Are you the one called... Link? Robbie. That is... <sighs> you were the legendary Link, there would be something important I need to tell you. How can I determine with full certainty whether or not you are the true her hero? How indeed. You can show me the wounds your body suffered a hundred years ago. Well, they're kind of in an embarrassing spot, actually. Get naked. Get naked for me. For research! Get naked for him. Is it a uh, is actual? Okay. Get, get naked. You had no problem with it earlier. I forgot that I could remove outfits. There you go. Get a good look. Now you do a little spin for you. Number. Look at all those scars. Most seem to have healed, but they line up. I acknowledge you as the real Link, so let us begin again. I am the lead guardian researcher. Who are you? Giving us. I see you looking. Yeah. How could she not? Doctor Robbie. In any case, I really am impressed that you made it all the way out to this rather remote location. Did you perchance meet Pura and borrow her power? I met, uh, I met a, a child. child. Are we not supposed to know her name? We know her. She has a kid? Or do you mean... Yeah, she got younger. Okie doke. Knowing her, I'm guessing she screwed up some experiment. Hmm, yes, typical. <laughs> Know that the Calamity is regaining its power. Yeah! Yeah! Tell me! <laughs> Goal of our Sheikah Research Lab is simple, really. We aim to destroy the Calamity that has endured across time, to rid Hyrule of its dark influence, and above all, to rescue Princess Zelda, who is now a prisoner of the Calamity. Just having this conversation with just boxers on. Still and looking. 
Give Good. her that side Good. eye. You, Link, managed to awaken before this old sack of flesh gave out. That means the time is now! Yes, yes. Now is the time to join forces with Ashika. We must destroy the calamity. Let's do it! <laughs> Imagine somebody being as enthusiastic about, like, about as Kurosuchi, just like, I'm gonna do research! It's like, yeah, let's do research! We are going to fuck Lavos up! Cherry, the ancient oven, creates ancient soldier that... gear. <laughs> the statue is named Cherry. They, they, they turned him into a fucking, like, statue. Afraid someone will have to bring the blue flame from the ancient furnace again. Okay, where, where can we find it? Where is the fucking blue flame? It's a bit out of sorts right now, so it's impossible to make ancient soldier gear. Yeah, that's we'll the... Yeah. Ancient Furnace can be simply described as a singular place that gathers massive amounts of energy. Tumlia Heights. Okay. Tumlia Heights. My wife is jealous That's your of wife. Cherry. She thinks I treat it better than I treat her. The nerve. All right. Hey, is it, you're the wife, huh? Hold on. Let me, uh... Cool. Sorry about that. I was just about to drift off into a peaceful slumber. And check it out! Okay. How was that? I figured I'd give an impression of Hateno Ancient Tech Lab's director Pura a shot. Maybe it was a cool. bit much for the first time meeting you, though. Not at all. <laughs> I liked it. What do you need from me? About that guy! Or about Robbie. One of the researchers of ancient civilizations. He was studying guardians at Hyrule Castle a hundred years ago. We're a half century apart age-wise, but we never let that get in the way. He and I are married. Wow, a half century age gap? Good for them. I've got a son. Did, did he... <laughs> Wait I've a minute. I've got one he... son. His name is Grante. Not... From, from Greville May Cry? Have you seen him? No. Have we seen him? I don't think so. We met we met a guy who was talking about researching. His name was Rob Tell or something. Rob Tell. Robin Tell. Alright, see you later. Do we have, like, a map location for the thing that we need to get? Uh, I don't know. You, you have to, like, uh, set the uh, quest up as, like, an active quest. And then it should show up. Maybe it's, like, there? I'm not going to worry about it right this second in any case, but... Yeah, Ancient Gear, I think, lessens damage you take from Guardians, so it make fighting them viable. I, I, hey, I, can, do give, that. I can do that. They'll give you a and they'll give you a torch to, uh, to do it, so... Yeah. Uh... Alright, let's, yeah. let's go visit that stupid labyrinth, and then we'll end the stream. The labyrinth. The fucking... The labyrinth with no floor. <sighs> if it doesn't have a floor, I'm a shit. <laughs> that's that's how like a guy opened uh, fucking the first Kingsman movie. The guys like has a hostage and they're like some goons. And the guys the goons like you got to take it easy here. Have a shot of this. It tastes so good. You'll shit. Oh, hello. Uh, is this the... Yeah, this is the lady who's, like, trying to be a good cook. But she's terrible at it. She... I have recipes for an ultimate survival dish. What's the ultimate survival dish? First, you have to defeat a monster. Then, you find a cooking pot and toss in all the monster parts. Okay. You ever survive out in the wild, you gotta be willing to eat anything! Oh, I like this person. May end up with nothing to eat but dubious food, but I won't achieve my goal unless I make some sacrifices. Even when I use ingredients I'm certain will be perfect, there's lots of times I still mess it up. Cooking is complicated. Eat the ray. I'm good.
Okay. You have fun then. Who is this person? What is she doing? As far as I can tell, that's all she does. She just she stands out here not knowing how to cook. On the other side of that cliff. You could turn around and Well, you better start climbing. Okay, you're going lower. You gotta go higher. It's on the other side of the cliff. It's not, uh... It's... Oh, it is. Yeah, it is, yes. Other side I, I, of the I cliff. I thought we could go around. The cliff is, is wider than I anticipated. Yeah. No, oh, get out of here. Bones. Electric keys. Do I have any non-metal weapons? I don't think you do. I'm glad this game keeps track of it. Be gone! <laughs> Freeze! Yeah, you dropped it. I did. <sighs> Alright, you ready to climb? Nope. Still gotta climb some more. You're using his power just for just for basic traversal. Well, what else do you use it for? I'm so jealous. God, this pisses me off so hard. Wait, what? Wolves? Oh, ice rod's already broken. Well, that didn't last long. Fucking with magic beyond your, uh... Dude, you're gonna die. I'm fine. Alright, that's it for, uh, that. Um, you have to wait, uh, until it recharges. Hello, Ice Keys. Could have sworn I found, like, uh, something to teleport to up here. I guess not. I think the water's too cold for you to swim in. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. I'm getting cold. So you found the labyrinth with no floor? Yeah. Except, here's the thing. There is a floor. It's down there. I see. You you assumed that the top part was just the labyrinth? 
Well, I looked down and it didn't look like there was a floor. Does it like move once we're inside or? Okay, no, you gotta gotta get to the shrine. I remember now. You gotta get to the shrine. My blessing awaits you at this labyrinth's end. Okay, thank you, whoever you are. Okay. So, uh, good luck. Hope you find your way through the labyrinth. I'm gonna chill. I, I can tell you're falling asleep. <laughs> I, uh, yeah. Um, I apologize. I didn't expect to be... I didn't expect what you... Like, I've been less... I don't know. Like, we saw this layout from the sky. It doesn't really look like a labyrinth. It just kind of looks like a big ring. Yeah, but you see that uh, that the shrine part is underground, so you're going to need to... Yeah. Oh, hey. Club. Oh, well. Is that a new enemy? No, oh, I've seen it before. It's just, oh, are you a new enemy? That's literally all you care about. You're a new enemy, aren't you? Oh look, there's a there is a labyrinth. Crazy. Yep. Oh, you can get over that uh, if you wait for your uh, bird to recharge. Yeah, I guess I could. Yeah. If you just if you know where the ending is ahead of time, you could just like drop in from anywhere under this. Yeah, would that really help though? I don't know. I guess it depends on where the ending is. I don't ask me how. I forget how I solved this, so don't ask me how to solve it. So you've been to this one before? I've been to all three of them. Okay. Has no floor. <laughs> Maybe the floor didn't render from way up there. That's a possibility. Hmm? No, you can't you can't hack away the iron bars. Uh I is there an eye there? No. I don't see one. Okay, maybe maybe just go... Yeah. How good are you with mazes? I don't know. If I, if I was... Okay, uh... that's the other side. That's the other side of where you were. So you're you're headed... Yeah. What'd you say? If I had... If I was not, like, trying to do this somewhat quickly, I would just, like, follow one wall. Fair enough. Uh, okay. Bars. Up. Down. I'm guessing these don't have eyes, so you can't really, uh, cull them. By the way, that one skeleton got bored. Oh! I think, I think you've solved it. I think this you might have cracked... Or you may have gone to the second layer of the, of the labyrinth. Multiple layers? I don't know. Hey, you even locked. Thank you, Revali. There's a sword in there? Yeah, there is. Um, but you're at low hearts. I'm eat something to fix that. <gasps> Wait! No, you can use magnetism! Use your magnetism to, uh, to grab it. Oh, but you now it's all icky. Use, these arrows to, like, uh... What is it? It is a golden claymore. Twenty-eight. Only the most talented Gerudo sword fighters carry this two-handed sword. Okay. It's not great, but it's not terrible. Not great, not terrible. I would give it, uh, what was it, how, how much was it, 2.8 Romkin out of 10? What is it in the, in like the Dark Souls and Elder, Elden Ring games, you can, uh, if you level up your strength to a point, you can wield two-handed weapons with one hand? Yes, uh, Dark Souls, yeah. Um. Kind of wish that was the case in this game in some way. Yeah. 
Uh, that would be cool. Um, I think... Oh, is that chest? It's in there. That's not the treasure, by the way. You, you still need to find the shrine, the actual shrine. Which is, I guess, a good way, a good reason to do this, is you get the shrine, you also get, like, the shrine treasure, and then the orb. No reason to warp here, though. So we know that the... that the shrine is in the center, so we need to find a way to get to the center. Oh, I can climb on this. I forgot about that. Wouldn't help, though, really, because of, uh... I'm guessing that Wait. these... Oh, hey, there you go. Hey! Not too difficult, Labyrinths. Dilamog. Dilamog. With as much work as it was to get to this, I'm sure it'll be easy peasy. This is literally just like, just like, hey, thank you for getting through the shrine. Did you like that my maze? Awesome. One shrine is a fucking guy in shrine's fucking asshole. He's just is like, hey, do this without your weapons. Is it actually? I just walk up and get it. Oh yeah, barbarian armor. Barbarian armor. Attack this is my up. favorite. This is my favorite armor of the entire game. You so get I... all three pieces. You look like you look so just rad. Hey, I liked your maze, Bob. Also, in order to level up the, the that, you need to fight Lionel like uh, dudes and get their stuff. Well, so. now that now that I know the maze have has a floor, I, I guess I'll do the other ones off stream. Get the rest <laughs> of that outfit. <laughs> the maze doesn't have a floor. <laughs> I'll. <laughs> God damn. Just. I looked down. I was like standing on top of the maze and I looked down and it just looked and like blue. You fog. didn't think. You didn't think you were on top of the maze. You thought you were on ground level of the maze and then the floor was gone and you were confused. Wait, am I supposed to like walk around the top of this? If I look down, I'll just fall into the pit. Uh, you can just warp out now. The labyrinth isn't gonna keep you. Yeah. No, uh, we're done though, right? Yeah, we're done. I'm sorry, my energy level's down. <laughs> I, no, I that's don't fine. Know we, we took care of one of the beasts, and we found out that they're pretty short, so we should be yeah. able to go like straight to the next ones in the future. Yep. And then uh, you just need to uh, if you want to do the other labyrinths off stream. You can and just get your full set of barbarian armor. Maybe this won't be as many streams as I as I feared it would be. Well, you're not streaming every second of, like, you playing stuff. You're just streaming all the best bits, so. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. See you next time.